What'd you say, Will? So we saying Patrick Beverly's the best three point shooter in the Lakers? Yes. Heard you. No, that's Heard you. The percent, numbers wise, he is having a thirty seven percent uh three point percentage is actually insane. And it being the that's, best that's one decent. on the team. Decent. Being the best one on the team with that is nuts though to me. Yeah. Like that's, that's decent, actually, but best on the team is crazy. That's what I was like. That's like that's crazy because like 37%. All right, you know, three pointers, you know what I mean? Cool, whatever. But like you're not known as like a three point shooter. And yet you the best three point shooter on your team. Yep. How how did we get here? I'll tell you how. I hate Pat Biz. <laughs> they traded. They traded for Russell. That's how we got here. Pat Bev. Pat Bev used to talk about how the Clippers was the real LA. Now he in the real LA. That is kind of funny. The Clippers are really went from tackling LeBron to passing him the ball. That's crazy. I, did, I like Pat Bev on the team. He's going to bring energy. Definitely going to do yeah. that. He's definitely going to do that. going to be bull rushing we, people we, for LeBron, man. We ain't have no energy on the team. What you no going to do with him? What you gonna do when he made Russ tear his meniscus in practice? <laughs> That's cold. I'm yo, I'm not gonna lie. I we do think they're gonna get rid of Russ, but if they don't, we that's, might gonna get a, a, um, hila- that's gonna might, be a hilarious might, time. We might get a little money with the injury shit with the with the injury cap thing. Uh, I don't know. The I'm, player exception, John? Yeah. That's get, crazy. Not gonna lie, making your teammate tear his meniscus is Fucked up, but it's kind of funny at the same time. Hey, man. <laughs> the first time he tore Russ Meniscus, he got blended on niggas that was... The niggas was... It was trendy to fake timeouts. And he Russ was one of them. He did it twice. He made Russ tear his meniscus. I'm talking about, I'm talking about the first time. Yeah, but I know. But making him a nigga tear his meniscus twice? I thought he right. tried to do it the second time, and he missed, and Russ got pissed about it. No, he did it the second time because that was KD's MVP season. Because I remember the first one. Yeah, the, the first, first time. He, 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 yeah, yeah, and he cheap shot at him. The second time was right before. He might was he been. on the Was he on the Rockets when the second one happened? Mm, I don't know. I don't think so. It might not. Have, I don't think it was. No, I think when I think when he was on the Rockets, um, I think it was when he because I know Pat Bev almost did it. One of the times he almost did it. And Russ almost missed. Nothing. And Ru- yeah, and Russ almost swung on that nigga. Nah, I think Russ just got. I think he got hurt in Toronto. I think that's what it was. Yeah, was I think he game. just got hurt in Toronto. But I know Pat Bev tried to do it again, and Russ almost swung on a mid game. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you need to swing on a nigga, dog. I ain't gonna lie. And I'm not gonna lie. If he had, if he had slept Patrick Beverly right there on that court, I don't condone violence, <laughs> except that one. I condone that. I'm not going to lie. That'd be a funny ass headline. <laughs> it's, only, it's only a couple of times where I want somebody to get their ass beat. Pat Bev is almost every one of those times. <laughs> Kevin Garnett called uh, said that uh, uh, a cancer patient. He deserved his ass yeah, for that. He needed his ass kicked for that. That was crazy. That was called crazy. him a cancer patient, looked at Melo and said, your wife tastes like Honey Nut Cheerios. And Mello was really gonna fight him too. That's the hilarious part. Mello was at the bus <laughs> waiting on that nigga. There was that one. Uh, that nigga Mello wasted no time to get to oh, that bus. <laughs> when Rondo spit on CP, mm, swung, Rondo deserved. I was swinging though. Yeah, but no, I would have. Nah, Ron, 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 my boy Brendan Ingram was swinging on niggas. But I say Ingram s- snuck CP. Uh, CP attempted to swing and, and wildly missed. Um, the one that really made me mad though, because y'all know Chris Paul's like one of my all-time favorite point guards, was when mm-hmm. he went up for that jumper, and somehow Patrick Beverly ended up beneath his legs. Like, how do you do that? Because I'm telling you, they pay Pat Bev to go out there and injure niggas. Like, bro, and people, and I remember I need to stop looking at the comment sections of like basketball videos because these niggas don't know, don't hoop. They don't know basketball or or you know logic at all. Do it in the comments. They're going to talk about some CP was flopping. I'm like, dog, he's middle of a jump shot in the air. And the amount of times that people let Pat Bev get away with just looking like, oh, I wasn't in control. 
is ridiculous. I'm like, dog, it's one thing to fight beneath, Ricky like, moving. It's, it's one thing to fight, you know, over a screen or under a screen, but you don't literally go underneath somebody. You just don't do that. Yeah. Like, your entire body is under this man's feet, fam. Like, what are we talking? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Patrick Beverly, he would get swung on. It would be justified. Like, I understand playing defense. I understand being physical. But shit like that, fam. That's 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 injury. <laughs> if you niggas forget before that Rondo C P C P three fight, Brandon Eagle chunk that nigga pushed the shit out of James Harden. He got tired of all that flopping shit. Hey, I mean if you gonna get if you don't get a BS foul, you might as well get a real one. <laughs> they got Ricky moving movies. again. I understand. Post the race. Who? His girl. I thought she would have moved there with him. That mean that mean, that mean Ricky moving to Florida. I'm about to say I don't blame him because if you remember he was tweeting about it like he been going through bullshit with that place. So he the daddy that stepped up. That that moment that I've said I were recording. <laughs> you just you just let us keep going. Of course, I was just seeing where the shop's gonna go with it. Now that I I, I see. You know what I'm saying? We're talking about folks moving and whatnot. I think that's a good time as ever just to drop the bomb on you. Feel me? That's your lips. Um, I was, like, you just, I was going through bullshit at that building, man. They, they wasn't fixing shit. I mean, yeah, when your internet is like constantly going down, you're having issues like where you're at, you, you need to get out of there, especially as a content creator. That shit gets annoying. Yeah, he, like live, he, live in, he live in a house, though, so he got to get that shit. He got to hire people to do that shit. Yeah, and like he was trying to get people out to come and fix because like apparently his streaming room was pretty much like an oven. Yeah, he he was sweet about like how it get hot pretty often, like all the time. And actually, he got mad shit in that room. <laughs> I'm about to say, have you seen his streaming room? I, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, without shit. AC, that shit is definitely gonna feel like a microwave. That nigga shit feel like Terry PC. Wow. <laughs> like, yeah. Who uh, actually? Hold up, Woo, were you there for that? Who wasn't in there for that? That was crazy. Yo, day. yo, Woo. <laughs> this man Terry, <laughs> his GPU. <laughs> His GPU was awesome, running man. at 88 degrees Celsius playing oh, Destiny. Because he had everything on the highest settings. <laughs> so he deserved that. Hurt you. Yeah. Oh, no, it gets worse. At the end, it gets worse. How? He plays almost every game on the highest settings. His graphics card, I think, is probably the weakest out of. All of us he with a PC. He has a he's a series below me. I have a sixteen sixty Ti. And it's I think he has like a ten something. I, yeah, he has a ten something. It's not even a Ti. I'm he got close. a <laughs> he got an i five CPU. <laughs> Trying to do, so he's got an i five, but not like a newer generation one. I'm pretty sure it's an older generation i five. An old graphics card. Eight gigs of RAM. And he be trying to play these games with y'all on the highest graphical setting. He been playing on an air fryer for the past couple months. And it gets worse. <laughs> Would you like to continue, Rambo? Nigga had his PlayStation sitting on top of his PC, bro. I he definitely did that shit, too. He ain't got no vents on his place on his PC. Wait, on so he, he, no, he, has, about say like, he has no top vents. He just has a back vent. He has one back vent. He so, vent. so he has one of the old 2000 computer cases. Yeah, for, like uh, it came in that all black metal case with just an open vent in the back for a fan. Bro, you ain't got the top, the front. Like what, the, Terry? Terry, buy a new case, my G. I told him to buy a new case. He said he getting a whole new PC. Hey, that worked too. That that's was, that that worked too. I was I was telling him I'm not gonna lie. The way these prices is dropping, you might as well just go ahead and get all the parts you need. No, oh, there was a computer actually on Fat Kid deals. I was like eleven hundred. And it, so the only thing that sucks about pre builds is they always just gonna have that one fan in the back, maybe a fan in the front. Hey, that's why you just gotta buy. And fans are cheap. They can be like five ten yeah. bucks. If you don't care about RGB, you can just get you some cheap ass fans. Oh. Get you some Noctuas. Oh, <laughs> I don't need to put some fast on God. <laughs> Nigga, you can definitely do that. 
I actually want to check on my fans because I swear to God, I think I might have put this bitch on backwards. So you just want to make sure you have at least you will want more for intake than you want for exhaust if you don't have an even number of fans. I got literally one, two, three. I got one at the top, one in the back, one in the front. Yeah, well, obviously my GPU has one, and then my uh, CPU cooler has one too. So I have like okay, so a grand total of like the, four. For the actual case fans, I would move the one on the top to the front. Oh nope, that was one. not moving. It's stuck on there. Oh, that one like it can't move at all. Nope. Uh, can you move the one in the back? Nope. They're like those two came with are uh, like stuck to the case. Hey. But my computer runs just fine. I just gotta dust it. Actually, I dusted it this morning and it, it, it was like a breath of fresh air. It was like, now nah, I can yeah. finally breathe again. Yeah, I'm just saying because I know you rather have more cool air coming in than air being pulled out. And probably that one in the back and the one on top are pulling air out. And it's just the one in the front pulling air in. So you might just need one. If anything, I would just get one more fan and put it on the front. I two probably pulling in, two pulling out. I probably will. I know one thing though. I guarantee my, my computer is happy as hell now because it's no longer like warm. No longer dusty, bro. Because I've dusted this morning. Like I like when I woke up, mm -hmm. uh, got my girl water and whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. Now she's like, "What about this?" Like I like I gotta dust my computer because this bitch is hot. He's <laughs> been running hot lately. I don't I don't know if you know anything about technology, but uh. You don't want your shit running hot in 2022. We get away with that back in the 2000s. Not, not no more. <laughs> not no more. I took the damn case off, took like a little side panel off, took my little can of air and sprayed that thing up in there. All you see was dust. I was like, oh, it's been a minute, hasn't it? <laughs> Dusted each and every part of the thing, put that case back on, plugged it back up, turned the thing on. It was like, ah, yeah. We in there. Yeah, how long is this test? I just want to figure out what house I'm going to. Hey, dog, you got to know what's happening. But anyways, people, what's That's going on? Yeah, your favorite color, Nick. Don't worry about that. But anyways, what's going on, people? It's your boy, Wazilla. Welcome back to the episode of the Run Those Games podcast. Uh, I know we were trying to hold out and do a grand 2K dedicated one, but they are taking a year and a day to drop this final, like, you know park trailer that you know we tend to wait and see on because everything else that they drop for real is just kind of like all right cool whatever whatever but we don't care we just want to know what park rec and pro amps gonna look like but we didn't get that so until then gamescom is having a bunch of game conventions are dropping so we're gonna talk about that as well as we're about to give our first impressions of the infamous saints row and we got a lot to, to unpack with that one too um but before we get on into that, um, I got, of course, the usual Renegade Squad with me, my dog Biggie, my dog Rambo, and of course, um, what he hit me with, Kenny. So, y'all got anything y'all want to uh, say before we jump on into all this news and whatnot, fellas? If you a Saints roll over, go ahead and cut this off now. Because I'm a killer. I'm a killer. Kenny, you got anything? Oops. All right, uh, I ain't really got anything but besides that I found out right now, I'm a Ravenclaw. Right, let's go. Gang shit, gang oh, shit. Muted. All right, go ahead, Kenny. Thanks for all 10 out of 10, he tweaking. Oh, hell no. <laughs> I wouldn't say a 10 out of 10, but it is. I wouldn't give it that at all, but let's go ahead and jump on into this thing. Now, as of late, you feel me? I feel like a proud father watching do it. Destiny 2. Ooh, man, this game, this game. You want to talk about some type of rage? You want to talk about struggle, pain, strife, so on and so forth? You don't get no further than Destiny, dog. This game makes me rage, something that I didn't think was possible after a while, but I can't get off of it. It's really like an abusive relationship, for real. But it's okay, though, because, you know, at the end of the day, it's, it's all love, fam. It's, it's all love. Feel me? At least I would like to think. At least I would like to hope. But anyways, so Destiny's dropping more DLC. Uh, the next one's going to be called Lightfall. The new season, season of Plunder has started. And if you know anything about Plunder, it is literally uh, pirate themed. 
comes with new missions new weapons so on and so forth life fall looks to be another issue of us fighting against an enemy trying to take our light um because it it shows one of the enemies in the previous uh dlc um the dude who actually took our light in the first place like when, we, when you first got destiny he's back with somebody else i guess and of course as per the status quo it's probably going to be strong as hell and incredibly annoying got more raids and even got new abilities called i think it's like the threat or something like that you guys see it in this trailer right here where basically every each class is going to get something new from the titan the hunter the warlock it's going to be entirely irritating and entirely op as per usual but i personally cannot wait and i'm mostly hyped about this due to the fact that aside from rambo and biggie punk ass from time to time um hey. kenny is actually playing the game now consistently and shout out to homie terry terry be on this thing so maybe at some point in the future we might actually be able to do a raid and i can't wait for that because i want to see and hear all the rage that they gotta oh, go cool. i want to hear and see all the rage that they gotta go through with the raid Ooh, i want y'all to know what it's like i want you to know the stress that comes with raids the anger that comes with having to restart a raid all the way at the beginning not the beginning but the beginning in the beginning i can't wait i personally can't wait raids are so annoying oh oh yeah oh yeah but uh kenny go ahead and tell the people about your destiny experience thus far brother oh um, okay pv and pvp for me and destiny is two different experiences i'll be going crazy in pv I'll be having the time of my life. As soon as I get on Crucible, it's a whole new playing field. I'll be wanting to delete the game every two minutes. It's but it's not balanced. I hate it. But it give me a lot of XP, so I'll play. You go crazy on it though from time to time, though. Time to time ain't enough, man. That's just stressful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but what about Gambit though? What about Gambit? Because like Gambit's cool. I like Gambit. I like Gambit a lot. I like Gambit more than Crucible. It's more calm. I can go in there, and sneak up on people in there. But Crucible, people be playing this game like they it's an E League out for it. Or some accuracy is just immaculate. I don't understand. So will we ever get Kenny on Trials of Osiris? I don't even know what that is, but I'll do it. Bet you that. don't know what you just agreed to. Bet that, bet that, bet that. Kenny, you might want to redact that one. No, nope, too late, Biggie. Shut your mouth. See, I, see, and this. I tried to help. Nope, and see, this is why. This is why when it comes to Biggie, we just don't invite him to much shit. He always be trying man, to do I'm, the most. I'll try. If I play Crucible, I play it, man. I don't care. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. All right. See, Make sure you stream that. All right, Senior Snitch Rooney, Biggie. Yeah, snitcheroonie. Um, getting right. Destiny to work finally, right? Hopefully. Well, as of late, at least, you know. What, what what's, what's your experience been like for Destiny as far as the like, DLC and, and whatnot goes? Uh, I said it before we started streaming. Um, I am glad they're adding more abilities as the game continues. You know, it isn't like we aren't this many years in and still only have solar arc and, <laughs> and void damage they're actually adding more stuff which i'm definitely appreciative of um recently since it has been working i've been very pissed off but i really want to play the game because whenever i do play it i don't play pvp because i'm ass at it and it pisses me off but pve is very fun for me whenever i can actually get the game to work also, because of the things that they're doing for the uh, new season <clears throat> for Destiny this time, you can pretty much, as soon as you get your stuff from the little treasure chest at the helm, you can pretty much just go in and start doing Nightfalls immediately. Which I enjoy very much so. Being able to go in there and just get loot quick. Mm -hmm. That's that's pretty much all i got because i haven't because the game hasn't been working for me consistently um i haven't been able to play it too much and also this new season is looking kind of cool 
you know, have a little bit of like friendly AI that helps. It's not just you by yourself all the time. I'm not gonna lie, low key though. On that note, the AI is kind of OP a little bit. Yeah. Because I watched them take <laughs> out a boss by themselves. <laughs> Bro, I was shooting the boss, getting ready to kill him. The boss is like at a solid like low quarter, melted him, mm-hmm. and I just sat there like, this is all right. I've wanted. <laughs> That's pretty always, much what happened to me. <laughs> I was like, damn. Like all I've ever wanted was just stronger AI and I I finally got it. Yes. So they gave us actually some decent AI. Now here's the hope and they don't nerf them motherfuckers. I I think they're too busy like nerfing hunters and other weapons. Because one thing that actually happened with this game is uh <laughs> some of the weapons that they released with it and even like some of the like weapons that you might have have you're not able to equip no more because they were broken and they were doing too much damage is that why there's certain weapons i have that i can't use yes i that, thought they just were like you know what we're not gonna we're just gonna act like this never happened yeah no nah, they literally deactivated someone because they were broken um thanks bungie i literally have an entire grenade launcher like i had one equipped it or whatever mm-hmm. and i couldn't use it one day and i was raging cussing and carrying on at bungie to which still y'all owe me a fade for that um but yeah, it little it was literally broken. Like some of the, I think it was called like the the sarcasm. I forgot what it was called, but it's, it was something. But like certain abilities, certain armor pieces were basically broken because they were doing too much damage to bosses. Because I remember I got on, I'm like, damn. Because I was confused. Because my, as you know, when I was playing it more consistently, my uh, warlock was my highest light level character. And then yesterday, last night when I got on. I was like, why the fuck is my is my uh warlock like a light level 13 something? Yeah. I was like, what what's going on here? It did that to me. And I realized a lot of the stuff that I had, they just were like, yeah, no, you can't use that no more. Which is weird for PvE. I'd understand for PvP. But for PvE, it's kind of weird. Like I'm just going against the AI. Who really gives a shit? I guess they do. Um, yeah, because it, it spawned me as a 1369. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna lie, I got ready to lose. I'm not gonna lie, I was gonna lose my entire shit because I was like, dog, I spent way too much money and time on this game for you to Bro. fuck me over. Like how 2K does to people every single year. Mm-hmm. Rambo's been through that. I think you've been through that too. Uh, but- not since 2K16. Stay, hey, still happening. Ain't never happened to me, thankfully. Knock on wood. <laughs> but stuff like that like it's, it's ridiculous like fam don't don't just nerf something and don't and the most irritating thing is they'll do it and they'll like go to help bungie.com you go to help bungie.com type in the weapon it doesn't come up i typed in the error code it didn't come up mm-hmm. so bungie do better because that that was irritating that's one of the 1369 i went to go do like a, a nightfall or something like that Mm-hmm. It said that we're going to raise your power level. I'm like, my power level exceeds 1550. What are you talking about? So I'm not going to lie. 13. Man, I swear to God, I was about to have a... I had a hot tweet waiting for, for Bungie. A hot tweet. The most... I'm not going to lie. That shit better still be cooking. Oh, man. It, it was... It was... It was the most professional cuss out I could possibly do. It was, it was as professional as I possibly could put it but still enough to let them know that you need to get your shit together it, it was in that region you feel me okay yeah i actually do like you know the i like the fact that they they one haven't given up on the game and as well as um they're still gonna be putting out context apparently in a in a like interview they said that this game's not going away anytime soon so like destiny 3 is not happening for a while I mean, yeah, don't you remember they had a whole 10 year plan and Activision was like, yeah, cancel that. Hey, oh, you meant you meant 10 games for 10 years. <laughs> and then they got their they got their freedom. Like, all right, back to the 10 year plan. Bro, the way that they got their freedom is still by far one of the funniest like interviews I've ever seen. Or not interviews, like like little announcement uh, live shit that they had. They pretty much ethered Activision professionally. The boys really is that now that we're finally free to do whatever we want. Dramatic pause. Now that we're not <laughs> under the control of a of a of an unknown of a known source, dramatic pause. I'm like, God damn, just say their name already. Go ahead and say fuck Activision. Just Bro. go ahead and get it out the way. Just get it out your system. 
because i mean actually another announcement was the fact that all the dlc mm -hmm. for one they're not gonna vault it no more they're just gonna leave it out uh so like forsaken shadow key like you know like they like they vault yeah. missions they're not gonna do that no more they're just gonna leave it out um yeah, i don't get why they did that in the first place i think if i, I read the article about it, it had to do something about them like saving like memory space or some something like that i forgot i forgot i should have posted the article in the in the notes but so I, I understood when it was like that uh one area where it was all industrial stuff where like it just kind of disappeared yeah yeah because like it, they weren't really doing anything with it so they're like might as well just get it out of here yeah they, they it was like for like memory space and something else but they basically leave it out as well as the game is now available and i think even free right now on the epic store well, I know it's on the Epic Store. I don't know if it's free or not. Don't quote me on that. What I do know is free is all the DLC is free up until like the 31st. Like all, actually, I think it's like up till September 1st. Now that I think about it, September 1st, September 2nd. Like all the DLC oh, from Forsaken, Shadow Keep, uh, Witch Queen, uh, Beyond Light, all of that is free. And all the weapons that you get from doing that. So I suggest everybody listen to this podcast. Um, get on it. Because Beyond Light gives you uh the stasis ability witch queen gives you some really dope weapons and armor uh shadow keep i faintly remember that but forsaken you get access to the exotic kiosk where you can get three exotic weapons so you get the ace of spades the thorn the last word the bad juju the yoden a weapon that i hate and it should be taken out the game i stand by that um and so many more Go ahead, get the yoden high, man fuck that gun i'm gonna get it though um but yeah they I'm actually I'm actually happy that they did that because uh it was, it was uh, another show that's happening with all that, like with them like always vaulting the DLC was that it was fracturing the community, which is something that DLC tends to do all the freaking time. So, you know. It's good for them to actually reconcile them. Like, you know, we're just gonna have it available for everybody. We're not gonna keep vaulting it. And now that I think about it, Rambo, you got back into Destiny, right? Yep. How how's your trials and tribulations been going? I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? I play, but y'all always got a team. You know what I mean? I don't be wanting to grind that shit by myself. But uh, <laughs> that Witch Queen DLC. Ooh, -ee. Mm -mm. That's some, some this hard, right it's hard as hell. Like, I'm not going to lie. Witch Queen is so irritating. It pisses me off, right? But you feel so rewarded when you get done like with the mission. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I finally beat that sniper bitch again. I was so happy. I'm saying. So which would be which one? Cause I don't know if you, I played all of them, but out of the ones that y'all mm -hmm. played, which would be your favorite DLC that they've actually added to Destiny Two? Uh, what was the last one? Which Queen's the last yeah, one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beyond Light for sure. So Beyond Light's yours. Beyond Beyond Light, and then. Yeah, I think it was just Beyond Light. Just Beyond Light? B, what's yours? Uh, I feel like because I used to be a hunter at this time, I feel obligated. You sicking me? I feel obligated to have to say, uh, it was Shadow Keep. That, yeah, it was Shadow Keep uh, when Cade died. Oh, I'm no, that, that wasn't that was Forsaken. That was Forsaken. That was Forsaken. Yeah, that was Forsaken. That that was was Forsaken. Yeah, that was yeah Forsaken was DLC. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, because, no, no, yeah. Oh, because right. it was the first time in a while for one Damn, they actually we, gave your character a fucking voice again. We all on the same page. It's crazy. But continue, continue. <laughs> yeah, they actually gave the character a fucking voice again because they were getting sick and tired of Zavala and I chorus sitting there going back and forth and be like, We need to rough for K and another would be like, I can't do it. Like, I'll just do it. Fuck y'all niggas. <laughs> basically, that was basically what it was. <laughs> I'm not going cap dog. Forsaken is definitely my favorite. I seen it like get announced. Like I was at, I was there, man. I was we there. We was all hurt. We was all hurt. Bro, but what I heard, like here's the thing what pissed me off, right? I kind of knew what was happening. They they were, they teased it a little bit, so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. And when the voice actor said that he was going to be done with Destiny, I was like, why would you tweet that? Don't stay. I love Kate. Mm -hmm. Don't do this to me. <laughs> Why'd you just let me know what was gonna happen in the story? You spoiled it for me, man. What's and then on? not only that though, the story was actually good. Like it was mm -hmm. actually good. And fuck that ending though. Oh, that ending could eat the fattest of dicks. I mean, the fact that we get that he's now known as Crow, he's still my op. I don't care. 
he's still an op to me like through and through oh, but the story was dope the fact that you got the like i i earned ace of spades i'm not like all these other peasants out here know what i'm saying using an exotic cypher i actually went and grinded that shit granted y'all couldn't do it anyway so i'll give you that <laughs> they did I, say, I didn't really have a choice man damn <laughs> yeah they, they took it out so nobody else could do it you, you you didn't have to go through that pain but that was that was pain but i'm not gonna lie Kate one like, like the biggest gangster ever though has your sister mm -hmm. a fire stop playing with him he liked that he's like that but that story was just dope and at the same time it did feel good though because you had to kill each uh uh prisoner you had to go through and kill each one that killed Cade or that helped in killing Cade. you pretty much said i'm gonna spend everybody block oh he, oh we definitely got that back in blood you definitely got that back in blood because you was not you was not playing you literally went, niggas walking up and it's just me <laughs> it was just like it was nothing but it literally was four if i remember correctly and you really did just annihilate each one of them and now it's just me hey and then he find out about banshee 44 and why he's always repeating the same mm -hmm. thing like i'm not gonna lie destiny lore wise lore wise destiny is really up there it's just some of the that you had to go research as far as like d1 goes was stupid but like the lore of destiny is actually nuts because we find out about like saint 14 and like why he's just so peaceful and shit like that you find out that like shax is actually you don't want to fuck with Shax. You don't. <laughs> you don't. His name is Lord Shax for a reason. <laughs> you don't want that smoke. Uh, the dude who runs Iron Banner, him, his story. They actually mm -hmm. show a little bit of his story in the cutscene, which was dope. Um, Zavala, he actually has a sad story. Still but, fuck that nigga, but I will be honest. It, it is still fuck him, but it's not. A, it's not a capital F anymore. It's a lowercase F now. <laughs> you learn more. It's like you know what. Still fuck you, but like, I well, just whoop your ass. Well, I don't, yeah. I don't want anything well yeah you find out about his family basically yeah. and i'm like oh that explains a lot that explains a hell of a lot so fire i, I can't wait for the light for lightfall to drop i'm definitely gonna play it i played witch queen we're actually close to beating it i think i'm like three missions off from finally completing that game from finally completing it i'm probably gonna just grind that out today and just get it done because i, I want to beat i just want to beat the campaign and just do all the extra stuff that i have you feel me i just want to get it done but mm -hmm. destiny 2 is a definite cop i mean it's fun as hell the community is gigantic as well as you just have so much freedom to do whatever you want as far as like how you want to grind you could you could literally just do nothing but pve for real if you want to it wouldn't be as fun because the pvp is dope all those it is rage inducing but when you learn the game you actually get to enjoy it like when you learn mechanics how to make your build and so on and so forth you really can't go wrong at all so i'm looking forward to it i can't wait now uh, a game that i'm low-key excited for I'm not gonna say excited, but I'm kind of looking forward to this. Just, just kind of looking forward to is Gotham Knights. Now, we want this joint to be co-op, but by the looks of it, it might just not be, which sucks. But I mean, it's not gonna hinder my enjoyment from the game because, for all I know, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be good to a degree. I honestly think that after uh, the disaster of a release that arkham knight was i don't think we have to worry about that level of you know fuckery in my opinion that's just me but there's one thing that kind of hurt i didn't see the joker at all in this trailer y'all know i love the joker so for obvious reasons i was hurt but some of the gameplay that they did show was actually rather interesting as far as like how you maneuver through the city as certain characters and, and whatnot one thing that did have me a little concerned was how it it was weird right so the gameplay looked both stiff and fluid i don't know if it was just me but it looked real stiff but fluid at the same time i don't even know how to explain it like some of the moves like like they had like a combat trailer like with red hood and like the fighting looked kind of smooth but at the same time like he was moving around like kind of bulky like he wasn't he didn't look like he was that acrobatic for real like it was it was strange it was just strange to me but uh rambo what's thinking about gotham knights dealing with nephew he's dealing with nephew probably 
Yeah, probably. All right, Biggie, what you think about Gotham Knights, nice, brother? Uh, very worried about this game. First reason, like you said, the game play did look stiff and smooth at the same time, which is weird. But okay, so you don't know what I was talking about. <laughs> yeah, it's a little weird, but I kind of like whenever I watched it. It was like they were trying to still use the combat how like it was in the Arkham series. Where like, you know, whenever you were Batman, like you could pretty much roll around the entire area fighting bad guys and everything. But usually it would be like at least seven different people you were fighting at once. Versus in the in the little gameplay they showed us, it was like five people on the roof for two people to fight. So I think it and it definitely didn't like the speed of it also didn't help you because like they were doing all the moves but everything was like really slow like whenever uh dick grayson was nightwing was um fighting doing all the acrobatic stuff yeah he was doing like flips and everything but everything moving mad slow so you can see him actually doing the flips versus how they would actually fight like realistic to the comics of they would be zipping around the entire fucking area <laughs> And also them trying to make uh, Red Hood look like he's punching when he's shooting guns. I, I don't like that. Like the posing with the guns. Eh, eh. Look real corny for Red Hood. I'm not going to lie to you. That's what he does. Man. Nah, that level of posing was very corny. That was my biggest problem with him as a character. A lot of people have a problem with his movement, but it's still canonical to the character since you know in certain tellings of him he definitely has powers um i'm very interested to see how uh damien plays because i don't think they ever showed him fully like they show him a little in this trailer but they don't show like his full package pause. yeah pause you know what i meant though oh no oh, yeah. I'm not worried. It's Warner Bros. Warner Bros. When it comes to gameplay, has yet to let me down. So I'm not really. I'm not worried about it. I'm hoping I'm that worried. it was just. Um, I'm hoping that it was just because it was a early, early version of the game that it just looked like that on what we saw, and it's not actually going to play like that. That's what I expect. Cause it, yeah, because it did like. Play. You play the, the you played all of them for the mm -hmm. most part. I, I played, played all, all of them. besides Origins. That's crazy. That's one of the best ones. Um, them, them, they don't really, they don't, they don't tend to miss. If we being hundred percent honest, like there could be issues with the game, like the game was really bad performance wise. Mm -hmm as far as when it first came out Arkham Knight but like actual gameplay wise <laughs> the game it was it was cool like, I ain't really I ain't really tripping anyway <laughs> also I feel like ooh, I feel like the reason why not the here. Joker oh he's not oh well well for the people watching or listening whenever this comes out uh the reason i think the joker is not in here is really pretty much just because of the very simple fact of batman's not there he has like if batman were to die he has really nothing else to do his whole point was to get batman to try to kill him or to break him and he can no longer do that so what is he to do now i think he's just somewhere probably mourning the loss of his quote-unquote best friend i don't all right my bad y'all i had to I ain't gonna talk lie. to mama dukes the, the, the first game trailer that came out that shit looked terrible yeah the that, second one the second we just saw it made mm -hmm. it, it, it made up for it I ain't gonna lie made it for it a lot but at the end of the day that was all that was all cutscenes. And you see more gameplay. This is all cutscene. It looked better graphically, but yeah, mostly gameplay could still be stiff as shit, like we saw the first time. 
We just like, gotta wait and see, man. We gotta be patient. They have a little bit of gameplay, like right there and there, but they're not yeah. really showing actual like movement. Which all I gotta, yeah. All I gotta say, this game better be good because it comes out in between Call of Duty and 2K, so it better be right. October October 18th. No, Call of Duty probably be out before this. I think it might be out uh, a couple days or a week before. Hold we on. Went back, we went back a few days. You got to remember that. They still come out with some heavy hitters coming out, so it better be right when it come out. I mean, if it come, out like, if it come out like Saints Row, nah, nah, in between nah, that time period, nah. it's going to be bad. I will say, I don't think I don't think it's going to do that bad or release wise and performance wise because of what happened with Arkham City or Arkham Knight. Jesus Christ, the, gl the glitches in that game was so bad. The fact that they were giving like full on refunds is nuts. But um, them releasing the game between those is a good like contrast though, because you know, you got your 2K and Call of Duty. Those are gonna do its is, is sales as per usual. But us as gamers and even like the casual want that, that game in the middle. Whereas like, I'm not playing online at all, where I can just focus on the story and just have fun, you know, type stuff. Like, mm -hmm. cause in, I think it was 2014, uh, that's when Arkham Origins released and it like released like right between uh, 2K and Call of Duty. So it should be okay. Just performance wise, I hope it does good and gameplay wise, cause I caught the tail end of what y'all was talking about. Yeah, I, I hope gameplay wise is solid. Cause it's weird. It looks stiff, but fluid. It's so weird. That's why I just don't think it was, I don't think it was fully optimized as a game that's not coming out at that time and what coming out for another six months mm -hmm. i wouldn't expect it to be fully optimized and the only reason arkham knight came out busted is because that was around the time where games were first starting to really be put on pc so that's the only reason because it worked fine on console it was only on pc where it had issues yeah. When I seen a motherfucker fall through the map walking forward, that shit had me in tears. Hold on, not thinking about so Rambo. You thought that you so we're all on the same page that it looks fluid and stiff at the same time, right? I thought I ignored the stiffness. I thought it was very and that and that's just how Warner Brothers fighting mechanics is. It's very animation based. Snap move you, sweep you over here movie over there that's just how it is and then as far as like the frame rate and shit like that i i, I ignored that shit the game not out yet now if it come out looking like that then then i have it i have that but i i don't feel i don't feel any type of worry about this game in the slightest simply because i know one of them every three of us three of uh, the four of us in here are fa we have favorite games from the Warner Brothers franchise. Shadow, Shadow War, War, easily. Mm -hmm. Shadow Mordor, and the Batman franchise. Mm -hmm. Have any of those games, outside of the one that came out on PC, has it been bad? Like, the game was just bad. Oh, like the game was like just flat out bad? It had, it nah. had issues, it had some glitches, it didn't come out completely just all great, but it came, it worked. You didn't have game breaking glitches. And you could do the shit that they told you you could do in the game. <clears throat> Saints Row. Mm, 2K. Yeah, Call of Duty. I'm chilling. Hi, Mama. I will say I am mildly, just mildly. And like my mildness and worry is literally because like Rambo said, like they've yet to like fully like let me down, like as a company. I just don't want the game to be too repetitive and boring because although I love Shadow of War and y'all in the chat, y'all in the group know I love that game. Mm -hmm. that, that game. Dog, that final act, I played that like what everybody was like talking about that act four. Mm -hmm. Mind numbing literal mind numbing i was like i get why people just said like the game is great up until you get to this final act i i actually understood it like i might i'm really thinking about like finishing the walkthrough because i did not do it on like the walkthrough channel <laughs> i literally just re like re-uploaded the gameplay i had on my main channel up there and you know just mm -hmm. chopped it up or whatever but i didn't do act four 
So I might really go back and just do act four and then just upload just so y'all can see the repetitiveness of it. That's my only worry with this. You gonna go through that mind numbing shit? Hey, this time I'm gonna play Let It Bang by Schoolboy Q on my Alexa and we gonna be all right. <laughs> Feel me? Uh, oh, also, did you hear my explanation on why I don't think uh, Joker is gonna be in here? I did not oh, hear it. Oh, I, oh, great. Oh, he is in here? Dude, it's right after. This is still in the same storyline of the other games. It's just I thought this one wasn't. No, this is after that nigga is dead. Bruce Wayne has a statue. Them niggas is dead. Well, Bruce ain't dead, but that nigga is dead. Man, I just don't want Bruce to come back at the end and be like, yeah, I was just testing you all. No, Man. that might no, that might actually happen. I don't yeah. think so. I don't want them to do that because that was going to piss me off, bro. Let this nigga die. I don't want it no more now. I'm hurt. <laughs> I'm hurt. You thought Joker was in there? In some way, shape, even, or form. Because I didn't think this was the same one, but I didn't think this was in the same universe, but even if it isn't or wasn't, I would still say because Bruce is dead, why would Joker still be? Hey, like, he has nothing to be fighting for. I would have been, been, been okay. I need in there is Harley Quinn. Matter of fact, didn't it show the villains? Yeah, Harley, Harley, Harley's Harley in Quinn's there. in there. Yeah, it showed the villains for it. Yeah. I'm just and saying. I think this is pretty much the Harley Quinn, like how no. it is in like, the TV show after she's pretty much gotten over the Joker. I ain't gonna lie to you. The slime monster look good. Uh, all I wanted, though, for Joker was like at least like a voice line or a cameo or something, dog. Don't do me like that. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. They did enough voice at, vo uh, cameos in the last game. No, I'm so good. You can speak by for yourself, Pim. At the end of that game, I was so sick of Joker, bro. As you, I, I don't like that. Hey, no, I couldn't get it. I couldn't get in and out of vents without him popping up in my face. No, I'm good. Hey, I don't get tired. I actually liked that about like I. Whenever I got rid of him in Arkham Knight, I was actually kind of sad. I know because you restarted and kept him in there until yeah, he was done with your stuff. Yeah, I no, it was cool. But no, I got sick of it. I will okay. say I got I ain't gonna lie, I dropped my controller when there's like a part where you're like rappelling up a, a building mm -hmm. so I get to a point. You he see pops the man out. bat or the joker. Nah, yeah, and he pops <laughs> out at you, dog. I dropped mm -hmm. my controller and said, Oh <laughs> Yeah, so it, when you were going up to um the uh the layer, the the one inside of the the tower. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bro. Went outside the tower and that nigga popped up there and I'm like, bro, come on. Dude. I drop I drop I dropped my controller and yelled. I did it when I with the man bat too though. I was not ready for that either. I know the man bat when I cut the game off, bro. I, ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> I was I not know, ready. I cut that shit off. I cut that shit smooth off, bro. I was not. I was not playing that. Cause he he didn't have to do that. He, he didn't have to do that. <laughs> it was disrespectful as hell. Like and like he got in your face screaming and, and, like, and right, they made man. sure to make it as close as possible like to the camera too that way you really seen it. Like I'm not gonna lie, that's how you do a jump scare for real. That's the oh, right yeah. way to do a jump scare. <laughs> that game had some good jump scares for not actually being a scary game. Because it wasn't like they played like crazy music or nothing like that. It was just like you in the flow of the game, you just chilling out of nowhere, boom, man bat. Hold that. <laughs> just the just one that. that I liked the most, it wasn't even like it was the scariest one or made me jump for real. But just the feeling like when you're playing as the Joker inside Batman's mind and you keep shooting the statues and more keep popping up. Oh yeah. I like that part, but it's just because that feeling like it's, my, it's my anxiety crazy. definitely shot up with that. I'm not gonna lie. My anxiety definitely shot up with that part. Speaking of anxiety, that's part of the reason why I was a little upset when I got rid of the Joker, because when I figured out and uh, I saw a video explaining that that's Yes, the Joker toxin serum, whatever, is inside Batman, but it's pretty much taking over his anxiety. And pretty much he has a person actually telling him everything he's been thinking in his head. It, I was like, I kind of miss it now. Cause it's like, you get to actually hear what he thinks to himself, but never says out loud. Yeah. And personally, Mark Hamill is the goat, but, yeah. but still it hurts. It hurts. I like can't. Whenever he's talking about like when Talia died and she, every time he talks about Talia, you can tell like it's Batman really fighting with himself. Plus, Joker's an entire asshole about the shit too. Yeah. He's like when Man he's said. talking about Batgirl. You see what I did to her, <laughs> bro. <sighs> I love the Joker. Man. I love him. Every time somebody went missing or like when he originally thought that Oracle 
was dead and Joker being his anxiety is really feeding on that shit. Oh yeah. Pretty much telling him you failed and all this shit. How are you gonna tell Commissioner Gordon about this? I'm like, bro, relax. He's like, I can't wait to see his face. <laughs> bro, it uh man, pain. I gotta play a Batman game without my dog. I'm not ready for that. I'm not. It's nice whenever the Joker's in there in some way, shape, or form. I don't think he's actually like like Randall said. If if this goes off of like the actual Arkham series, then yeah, Joker Joker killed himself pretty much. Oh yeah, he's in a pack for real. But like I get it in the thing. Like I'm saying this, but if, I'm not I'm not gonna be one of the weirdos. That's like I'm not buying unless he's not in the game. No, I. It's evolution. It's not even evolution. Mm. Shit just has to go on. The show must go on. And plus, mm. Batman has a slew of other villains i'm yes, okay the joker is the one that they all were in agreement of don't fuck with him let batman deal with him hey that is not our problem <laughs> he is not our problem yeah like but, i i loved it because whenever any of them other motherfuckers pissed off the joker that is, i think that's scarier than whenever he's just laughing too much when the joker stops laughing somebody's dying Oh yeah, a media. It might death. not just be somebody. It might be somebody's plural. Hey, it's everybody over there. <laughs> you and who you with? I mean, there was a, a thing. I think he was like he didn't like Red Skull or somebody because he was a Nazi, mm-hmm. and he went to a therapist, yeah. and the therapist was all like, the therapist thought, thought that Joker was going to him because he liked not uh he liked Red Skull. He's all like, no, he's like I'm an American. I hate Nazis. <laughs> or when uh he owed the IRS money. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, look, I'll take on Batman suit. I'll take on anybody else. I'm not taking on the IRS. Like shit like that is hilarious. I mean, that's why I love Joker. That but it, it's like he's insane, but he's like, I'm not that insane. He's he like he's crazy as shit, but like he knows what's going on at the same time. And so like you kinda have to like I'm not gonna necessarily say respect it. But you had to be somewhat interested in the fact that he's like, all right, you know, it's cool. It's, it's get it. I, I get yeah. it. Now, we're going to go ahead and just nip this shit right in the bud. We're going to go ahead and talk about the good, bad, and the uh, ugly right now with this one. <sighs> I'm going to let y'all I'm gonna let y'all take over on this one. Man, look, I was excited about this game. Genuinely was. But my excitement is slowly dying down the more that i play this game and just basically how it was handled um mostly to the fact that it could have just been done a whole lot better flat out i got almost two two three hours into this game so i got a good chunk to base my first impressions off of it and i'm not saying i was holding it up to the standard of the previous iterations at all because that is just by far unfucking fair because we have nostalgia attached to it it only one game has actually held up to that standard or franchise now would be god of war for real because it completely changed it in the best way possible right but with this game oh they 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 just somehow just dropped the ball and it does and it's still like not even that fully optimized as far as glitches go which that inhibit you from continuing the story to doing certain missions um you know cutscenes being out of te- like cutscenes not be- not playing properly hell even the gameplay itself when you do like auto finishers and, and things like that it will mess up and the the animation will happen after you already like got the kill is there's a lot of things wrong with this game and it really sucks because this is a franchise that all of us in here have played and loved like flat out and it's not like we we're asking them to fully reinvent the wheel but what but what they could have done with this game they flat out just under delivered and it sucks because it's not to say that this game is necessarily terrible but i can't say flat out go buy this game you need to have it i'm saying if you can wait for this bitch to go free cop it if you can get this joint on sale cop it but i'm waiting for them i wouldn't even say necessarily get it on sale until they optimize it until you know it's working until you hear that it's working and then cop it on sale for like 20 bucks because 
it sucks and the, the messed up part is the customization for the game is actually good as far as like your character customization because the, mm -hmm. the things that people have been able to create with this like as far as like the avatar from the blue avatar series uh D dr doolittle i think i think rambo has that one um or the nutty professor uh <clears throat> I've seen Eminem, I've seen 50 Cent, I've seen Dashy. Like I've seen a slew of people, but all that still has not fully, has not saved this game from what it was advertised and from our expectations, which weren't even crazy high as a community, I feel. It seemed like our expe expectations were justifiable. We just wanted a reboot of Saints Row that would basically shake the franchise up a little bit and make it feel refreshing. This right here just feels like a giant meme of just Gen Z and millennial, millennial stereotypes that flat out just run out and just kind of just become corny after a while. And that's not, to say oh you're millennial just take you're just being offended because you're just making jokes of you honestly i'm the farthest thing from millennial i am an old soul at heart everybody here will fucking tell you so i can't relate it's just it just comes off corny and not necessarily as over the top we all know i'll give you i'll give you a core example of them of them kind of playing playing it too safe we all know the car customization place rim jobs mm -hmm. right hilarious mm -hmm. if you actually know what a rim job is in this game it's called jim robs all they did was just switch two letters so it's kind of like an easter egg if you know but it's still like well why did y'all change it it's like little things like that the your partners in crime and whatnot they are not the worst by no means they're kind of cool i mean nina's probably my favorite one out of the three but even them they're lackluster compared to shondi pierce of course johnny gat um and I'm missing like two other ones and it's gonna make me mad but like the characters in that game like they they just added to it to this it kind of seems like they're just there and it, it it honestly sucks and this is just my first impression like I haven't beat the game but I know it's not gonna take me long to beat the game either um it's just it sucks it, it flat out just sucks that that they under delivered to this magnitude on the game and the fact that it has this many problems as well like as far as optimization goes is inexcusable at this point you would think that after how many games have been slandered been put out have under delivered how we as a community say we're tired of these games just not working and for them to put out an unfinished product like this sucks because it's like y'all y'all literally had two of uh, actually two bad games back to back get out of hell right Cause I'm not, I, I, I'm not counting the Saints Row 3 reboot. I'm or the the remaster. I'm not counting that. We we not count a remaster. It still tells the same story, just different graphics. Um, but you had Gat out of Hell, which was the worst Saints Row game because Gat is not a main character. He's a side character. He's not a main character at all. He's not meant to be a main character. He's an excellent side character. <laughs> and then Ages of Mayhem, which again poorly optimized and boring, like. There's rare chase walkthroughs that I can like that I don't think are entertaining or like not like enjoyable because say chase is entertaining as hell, mm -hmm. but even he couldn't save that game. And that says a lot. So <clears throat> my opinion on this game, if I had to rate it, I'm giving it like a f I don't really like doing ratings, but I just say just don't buy. I'm doing it based off that. Don't buy. If you could rent it, rent it, but do not buy this. Rent it. If anything. Rambo, is you here? Yeah, hold on. Oh, about six. I got to give me some water because I am parched. I will say, because I haven't gotten too far into the game, because I want to stream me playing most of it, and I'm probably going to stream it again tomorrow after work. Um, so far, for me, I would give this game a rating of maybe a five or a six out of ten. And it's mainly just because like the difficulty is kind of weird because like I'm on not the highest difficulty. I just went one up from default and it's weird just because like missions like the actual mission, like story missions aren't super difficult. And you know, they can hit you a lot with a uh, gunfire and everything. But if you know how to get behind cover, you're good. But those side missions, I don't know what it is, especially the uh, 
driving, no, riding shotgun side mission where you're supposed to be taking out the cops. I don't know why that mission is so hard. That's probably the most difficult side mission that I've played on that game so far. I, like I said, I'm not the furthest into it. So for me so far, that is like, why is this so difficult? Like the difficulties feels like very off and I'm probably gonna turn it down by one because especially that side mission shouldn't be that hard. It's literally the first time you do that side mission and it feels like I'm on the final version of it, which I'm not really rocking with. But if I were to rate the game myself so far for what I've played, I'd say about a, probably a six, 6.5 out of 10. And that's just, like I said, because I haven't gotten all the way through and Rambo and Wu have definitely probably seen more of a reason to give it a lower rating than I have so far. Kenny? My rate for the game. The game is a four out of, wow. Oh, I just looked up. <laughs> oh, you see the oh, oh yeah, you see it. You see it. The game is a five out of ten or four out of ten so far. The glitches is just too crazy. Me and Rambo could be so far further in the game. The glitches ain't stopped our progress. Like the mission, like the side mission B was talking about. They was literally dragging it was a glitch where it was dragging Rambo out the car when we was he wasn't even on top of the car. They was dragging Rambo out the car and we would get mission failed on the side quest. We don't know how it happened, but it was happening. And then shit, bro, the glitches, bro. Man, this shit is ridiculous. The fire hydras is OP. I'm saying they flip your car in the air. Yeah. It's just too glitchy, man. I ain't gonna lie. It's only gonna get worse. It seems like it ain't gonna get no better. We run into a new glitch every, we run into three new glitches every play, every time we play on that shit, bro. And then, oh, oh, and chat, you get a helmet from, watch out for that helmet you get in that idols mission, you know what I'm saying? The, the niggas that look like they go to raves. Yeah. It glitched Rambo, it glitched Rambo character in the game and we couldn't play for like 20, 30 minutes. We had to figure out how to get it off Rambo. Glad I didn't uh, put that helmet on then. Damn. Crazy is I, I put on the, the idol helmet, not the one that they're talking about in that mission. I put on the, mm -hmm. the Anubis one. Thank fucking Christ. Yeah, yeah that that uh riding shotgun side mission. I, why is that shit so difficult? I don't know. The game gets no random, like like difficult. It, like it does it does spike. Like you're not like, crazy. It's weird. It does spike. Like, no, it's just like ridiculous. certain missions. Like, cause even the first, uh, whenever you're doing like the bad Yelp review side missions, uh, whenever I did that, that first mission, I did it with one star. So the hardest difficulty you could do it on for there. And that wasn't nearly as difficult as the first, uh, riding shotgun side mission. I, I, I'm not gonna, I got off the game because that shit was pissing me off. It, it definitely does have random like difficulty spice because like you'll go through and just be wiping everybody then out of nowhere it just gets difficult you're like what what whoa yeah so i'm probably about to put that shit back on default because that shit made no sense to me i'm on default and i'm even getting like annihilated at random and then on top of that like gaining your health back takes way too long yeah i don't like the way they did it with the like assassin quote-unquote assassinations yeah, because yeah, assassinations it takes so long to gain, and then sometimes like glitch if you if they get killed right before you get it, and it still counts, and you just lose that. It, bro, this shit is glitchy. Yeah, optimization wise, this game is the worst. It's the it's the worst, and it's like wow, because the and I'm, like I said, like the health stuff is just bad. Like it's actually bad. Yeah. It's like you'll get shot, go behind cover, and, and your health regains slow as hell. You'll do the assassination or whatever. You'll get your health back and then it gets eradicated because they're all shooting at you because you're doing the like the little assassination thing. It's like, what were you guys thinking? And then not to mention the melee, I'm not gonna lie, stinks. Like there was nothing more fun than running around. Like hell, my Saints Row, what was it? Two or three walkthrough? Three. Mm -hmm. <laughs> running around doing like the the uh, melee stuff where, like you do like a damn body slam a suplex on people is so much fun and that's like not in the game it's like 
everything that gave saints row is charm it's like they just said nah <laughs> just now nah, we're gonna go ahead and just take that out like volition what the fuck was you doing like we're not saying it had to be the, an, an exact copy i get y'all want to change it up a little bit but there's some things that just made saints row saints row yeah you should still be able to like be sprinting at people and do like the body slams and shit uh it's like they went back all the way from the way that it's playing it reminds me of like how i was playing saints row 2. like it feels like they went all the way back to then and took out some of the over the top stuff that like three introduced that people really liked because like it feels like it has everything from two and then all the extra stuff is like gone i'll even say like, two was like over the top to a degree as well though and but i just mean from like the core like gameplay part of yeah, it it yeah, feels yeah. like they're like they kept everything from two and just scratched three when the one that people really didn't like was get out of hell and four and no one's asking you to put superpowers back in the game i would like them to be in the game but i understand that they're not gonna be doesn't bother me that much but the extra over the top this is what made saint throw so fun so taking that shit out it's like playing diet gta right now and the thing was it was like this game was so different from like gta like because at the time everybody's comparing you know saint throw to gta like that's the thing right <laughs> yeah but like it's two different games entirely and that's what people liked about them though and it's like it's, it's like what what the fuck was y'all doing like it just doesn't make no sense like it genuinely doesn't make no sense to me and like i said it does like the game doesn't need to be you know um the exact same as like the other ones we get that because that's what some people are complaining about that i've seen which is just unrealistic and makes no sense because you know we we talk about stuff all the time people want new games but they don't really want new games when they, they just get, want a, the same game with a new title yeah because like whenever they get the new games they never play them or they complain about them we did want a new saints row for like updated right but this was mm -hmm. not the update that we had in mind in the slightest especially by like the giving it the name saints row like i like the thing is if this game did not have the saints row title and they just changed a couple things and just named it a different ip it'd probably be a lot better but the fact that you gave the Saints Row title and you're not including the things that make Saints Row Saints Row is what really is like a, a slap in the face of community. And like I said, Kenny went over the glitch at him and Rambo face. That's another thing about this game that really just knocks it all the way down. It's the glitches. Oh no, my shit is worse. Like the fact that people like can't boot up or having a hard time not booting up the game, but like playing the game, they can't progress through the story. Uh it's just it's it's one of them things where it's all like y'all volition you need to you should have done better and it's just a little shit if you're in the car if you're the car with your co-op partner y'all don't listen y'all don't hear the same song you know what i'm saying one of one of y'all will be ahead of the person on the radio i don't listen to this y'all i'm not gonna lie to you it ain't the little shit this game is ass it's ass it's pure ass first of all the skills trash I've never seen a skill tree in a game more trash than Saints Row. Yeah, I was, con I was very confused on how to use those. Terrible. Hold R1 and pick it. That's a fact. Uh, that should take forever to get to. It, and the, to and get the grenade. To the grenade is but grenade. Level seven for a frag grenade. What is this? Call of Duty? How are grenades not a part of the uh, the regular stuff? Huh? Grenades? You gave me a proximity mine for level one that barely do damage. Huh? Huh? You give me a health boost at level six. That's the only good thing in there. This game, I've never, I, I, I swear, I've never played a game this bad in my life. This game is worse than Get Out of Hell. Let me tell you why. Get Out of Hell at least had the core 
gameplay values of a regular, at the time, Saints Row game. The thing that was bad about Get Out of Hell was the story was ass. The gameplay was normal. It was regular, it was regular Saints Row. But they tried to put a DLC story on a freaking regular title. This? This game? The story is probably the only decent part. Why I feel like I'm fighting Destiny characters. Minions. Dudes on bikes. Take 50, 30 bullets to kill. Huh? What? I get I got it on the harder difficulty. I knocked it down to a six and I still feel like that. Yeah, I will say um, what? just very quickly. Uh, that's probably my biggest gripe with this game so far besides the difficulty is the gunplay on this game is very, very bad. Oh, I ain't even got that. The I just gun. To say that. I have to put a scope on a gun. I have to get a, get a gun with a scope to shoot more accurately. More accurately. Not accurately. More accurate. It's still buns. The weapon level up. I've never played a game with worse weapon level up then Saints Row. Anybody want to tell me how you can level up your gun? Mm. You see my issue? I, I saw that there was supposed to be a way to level it up, but I was like, I there guess is. I'm not there yet. Apparently, I leveled one of my guns up. I don't even know how I did it. Mm. <laughs> Just leveled up? That shit leveled up like a Pokemon? <laughs> like I said, nee, nee, nee. <laughs> Like, bro, this game is bad i don't even understand how y'all put this game out the glitches whatever cool i can deal with glitches i pl- I, I played cyberpunk i could deal with the glitches but when you got game breaking glitches like a helmet literally breaking your game i load into the game it has me in the helmet i didn't equip the helmet it just has me in the helmet I can't do anything after the first 15 seconds of getting in with the helmet on. It freezes. I can't use my PlayStation controller. I can't even hit home on my PlayStation controller to get out. I have to turn my PlayStation off to then restart the game, load an earlier save file, redo the mission, and not pick it up and just make it put it in my inventory. How? How do you have a uh, how do you have an item, a cosmetic item in your game that'll freeze my entire PlayStation? Get out of hell ain't never do that. Saints Row 4 ain't never do that. How? 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 I give games the benefit of the doubt when they come out early. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna go ahead and wait for that day one patch. I did the same thing with Madden. You know what? That day one patch ain't come out. I played that game two, three days before it came out. That game when when day one patch came out, the game was still crappy. I deleted it. It ain't been back on my console. This one is next. Me and Kenny may never finish the walkthrough for this game, or Kenny gonna end up finishing his walkthrough by his death because I can't take it, bro. This game is bad, bad. You sat here. I'm so glad y'all didn't charge seventy for this game. Because if y'all charge 70 for this game, I'd have a whole lot more to say. We got to see, yo, games can't keep coming out like this and y'all expecting us to buy it. PlayStation, y'all going to have to change y'all rules. Y'all going to have to start accepting this, um, start accepting these refunds. Because if these games keep coming out like this, people going to start requesting refunds. Y'all going to have to change that policy. There's no reason this game has been in production for five years. Five. This game has been in production for five years, and it comes out like this? This game may have more bugs than Cyberpunk did. Yeah, a lot of Cyberpunk stuff was just optimization, it felt like. How, how, do, how do I go from shooting a character inside of the car to being drugged out of the car and being told to heal and then get a game over? What? Game over, yeah. I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand the glitches in this game. 
y'all have so many there's a bunch of decent concepts in this game like every car that you pick up has a secret ability that you have to unlock that's dope but it don't matter if the, the driving is ass it don't matter if you don't know how to level it up the driving put, definitely is terrible man, i'm gonna tell you how bad this game is on that same mission where I got drug out of the car, I put the car's durability on zero. Don't you believe we still lost that mission? Multiple times. Hmm. Multiple times. Because either the character in the car blew it up because they can't drive. And it's not like Oh, they running into the, the enemy is running into us. No, she's running into walls, running into trees, running into buildings, and the car blow up. How do you? This has been since Saints Row Three. How do you not put an AI in the game that can drive the damn car? I don't know. It's been since Saints Row Two because I went back and played that. They definitely had this nigga make a fifteen minute drive into a three hour drive. Like. Bro, I don't, I don't understand how in 2022 games still come out this bad, and y'all expect and, and y'all y'all expect us not to say nothing. Bro, they ain't released it. They ain't released it. Uh, art, not an article, but um, uh, what's what's the sh- a statement? About to say a statement. The game, <laughs> nothing. They ain't released nothing. They think this game is great. Yeah, they put out more trailers and everything. The only statement, the, the only statement they've actually ever released so far, I think, was that somebody put out a fake video of like a glitch, something that didn't exist. But that's the only statement they've actually put out. They haven't put out anything else that I've seen on my Twitter feed about them actually optimizing and fixing the game yet. And Rambo did touch on on something that literally, cause I, like the walkthrough that I do on my channel is playing right now, right? The shooting, horrible. It's a third person shooter. Why is it? Why are the guns firing like I did it on Fortnite? Like with the bloom. Why? It's a third person game. I understand first person shooters where like the shooting goes, like I'm shooting a moving target, right? So it's gonna be difficult for me to aim because I gotta turn whatever, whatever. It's a third person shooter and I'm playing against AI characters. So I should not be going through the struggle of aiming at somebody, aiming at their head and my bullets are not hitting their head. And they are bullet sponges. Like Saints Row, they had their bullet spongy to a degree, but a one shot headshot's a headshot. This game is like two shots to three in the head then they're finally dead for real. Or like if you'll flick up, you, uh, and then if you mm-hmm. and then if you flick up to like their head, then you'll get it. Cause I got a couple headshots, and but throughout the walks, I'm aiming for their heads, but it's hard to hit their head because of the bloom. It, it, like the shooting is terrible. The driving, it's watchdogs one level. Like you, uh, uh. this game shouldn't have been put out yet. It should have got delayed. This is the first time I think I'm ever gonna say this. This game should have got delayed. Oh no, there's a bunch of games that should have got delayed, but this is definitely on the list. Yeah, but you know me. Whenever it comes to delaying, oh, here's shit, actually here's a glitch. Big, yep, <laughs> <laughs> knife wasn't even in the body. <laughs> But you know me, whenever it comes to delaying games, because usually companies, whenever they delay it the first time, that ain't the first delay. And this one just needed a delay. Five years, though, is like still one of them things was all like, you mean to tell me like some like some glitches you can never prepare for like ever. Yeah. Right. Um, some know, of the shit you could have seen if you just tested your game once. Yeah. Like the fact that the animations aren't in sync. The dialogue isn't in sync. The fact that you have a, a, a broken helmet that Rambo and Kenny was talking about, it's a problem. The fact that the shooting, y'all could have easily tweaked the shooting like, yeah, the shooting in this game is kind of ass. Let's go ahead and fix that. Nothing. Also, I just want to know who at the company decided to put the controller sensitivity in the camera section. Like why? Why is it there? Why can I not go to my controller settings? Controller. And change my controller sensitivity. Controller. Where, but where are you what? at though? <laughs> Camera. Camera settings. <laughs> like, why are they there, yo? Because I don't understand if it was just like the regular sensitivity. You know, it's both the out of aim and in aim sensitivity are both in the same section of camera. Why? He said you got hit twice in the same spot. <laughs> why? 
Like, I just need an explanation for that. Also, while we're talking about gunplay, the the fact that everything, it's not just the characters, because I'm used to, you know, whenever you're playing Saints Row, you know, obviously it's a car. It's going to take more than five bullets to blow up a car. Yeah. I've unloaded four clips into the front of this car. Why is it still driving? Because that's my problem with the uh, riding shotgun shit is your car explodes so quick. But I put three clips into this SMG that I just bought into this car, into the hood of the car, where the engine is. And this bitch still ain't explode. Oh, I'll also add the the and like the the input. There's actually like input delay in this game as well. I've mashed square on multiple occasions to reload my weapon, and my dude won't reload. Oh, another glitch. Here we go. Yep. Like I've reloaded, rolled, and then like my gun is still on zero. So there's there's that like. And the skills, like, I'm not gonna lie, Red Bush touched on some, some good points. Um, like, the skill shit is, again, stupid. The fact that we have to unlock a skill to throw grenades, which has been a staple in the Saints Row franchise, like, just chucking shit. It's like they kept the animation of how you throw grenades, but you have to unlock them. You unlock the damn proximity mine, which you actually just chuck at people. Ew, I'm not gonna lie, Volition. This, this game is a, you could have did so much better. I really want to know what the hell was y'all thinking when you put this game out. I want to know what they did for five years because ain't no way this has been in development for five years. Like, you can't convince me that you put in five years of good work. Because this, I'm not going to lie. There's a lot of times where we blame suits for rushing out games. I'm not going to lie. If I was a suit, I'd have told you to hurry up and just put this shit out at this point, too. Because you, you've been bullshitting for five years from the looks of it. He said, you bullshit, nephew. <laughs> you, you bullshit. At that point, y'all niggas wasted my money. Hurry up and put this game out so I can at least make something. Like, what did y'all do? Like, it doesn't make sense. And, that, and that's what really pisses me off. Like I said, usually we can blame the suits for certain games. We can blame like, the oh, suits for rushed. a lot. We can blame the suits yeah. for a lot. Usually, like, usually we can't, like, we'll, like, give the developers the benefit of the doubt and be like, you know what? Y'all got rushed to put out this game. This looked like the suits was getting tired of y'all bullshit and sitting in the fucking studio talking about funny memes to put in the game. Because as far as I can tell, there's more customization in the game. That's cool. By the there's way, a little bit more. that shooting that y'all was seeing me do in this walkthrough right there when dude was like the strafing right, I was literally holding my right analog stick as far right as possible. Yeah, because the sensitivity, because you couldn't change as far as I thought at the time and probably that you thought at the time, you couldn't change the sensitivity. Also, the locked on is fucking ass. Oh, yeah, the, the, the aim assist is trash. I, I don't understand. I'm playing a third person shooter by myself. Why is aim assist not aim assisting? And once again, I don't get why there is so much bloom. Y'all have not had this much bloom in Saints Row ever. You know, ARs and SMGs, usually if you aim at somebody's head, one shot to the head, they're gone. In this game, you aim at somebody's head, you shoot five bullets, probably two of them hit. It is. And they're still not dead. It's only Fortnite level of bloom. Like it'll uh. And Fortnite realized how bad their bloom was and put in a gun that basically had no bloom. It's like Wu said, man, the melee. This is the worst melee I've seen in a game, a story game in a long time. The melee system, when you just kick with the gun, oh my God, having one move with a gun is crazy. Like you don't even hit bro with your gun. You just do that nasty ass kick over and over again, bro. That shit is nasty, man. You ain't a whole lot of nasty shit with this game. The prank shit on co-op is whack. Like, I think you do, like, a real something prank. All you do is just put an effect on your teammate. All I did was, I did a prank shit. All I did is put hearts and shit on Rambo, some nasty shit. He said some and nasty then shit. A, then I did a, then <laughs> all I did is put a radiation sound in Rambo ear. That's it. That was the prank. Shit was over. Shit whack. A whole lot of whack shit. Like I said. They had five years to work on this game, and I'm not going to lie. I wouldn't blame the suits if they said, hurry the fuck up and put this out, because obviously y'all been bullshitting. They put this game out because they didn't want to wait for God of War, Call of Duty, 2K, and all that shit to drop. They had no They could have waited until next year at this point. And people would have got tired of waiting, man. 
I'm not gonna lie. No, they wouldn't. No, they, got they, all, I was about to say, you just named a bunch of games that niggas would have been happy to play while they wait. Literally, 2K is gonna take over for like three, four months, if not more, depending on how good it is. This can't, yeah, Call this it, can cook him out February or something. Like, like yeah, like, Ooh, call, I like call here, it, you were looking for the sensitivity. Hey, I was looking nope, for sen- smoke can come out in February. Hey, I was looking what? I was looking for the uh the like how to like tighten up my reticle and shit like that. Mm-hmm. I was like, there's no way like it's like this. There's no way the bloom is like this bad. I was Bro. literally raging doing that, but you got Call of Duty was gonna hold people over. Then you got God of War, which is a game that we're all waiting for. Like they this game could easily came out next year. It could have. Yeah. This game could have easily been delayed till next year. But like I said, I'm pretty sure everybody who was involved in when this game has to come out was like y'all just bullshitting at this point you even if we give nothing. y'all another year and this story ain't all the, this story is real similar to like saints row 2 towards the end when you fight in the military people this story feels really weird to me right now because i it's all over like, the place yeah because like the way the game starts like is the ending of the game and it's like, how did we go from this bullshit that we doing here to where the game is supposed to end at? Like we was in the military, we was in the military armed forces. We was not, I don't even call them military, the security team. We was in the security team. He was, you was a mercenary. He was a mercenary for two missions, bro, and they took us out. Like you was a mercenary for two missions. A white man shows up and tells you, "Yeah, you got promoted to head of security at this place after got... just two missions." Hey, you now got promoted to head of head of security on your third day of the job, and then nigga, they you want to fire niggas, bro. They didn't want to fire niggas, man. How you gonna fire a nigga you you promoted on the third day? <laughs> he said, "Nigga, you fired." Then they got the fake ass Hispanic doctor disrespect. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, I have to respect. I get my money from these niggas because that's clearly him. I'm not. I'm, I'm not going cap. One other thing that kind of irritated me has been irritating me this whole time is how derpy your character is. Mm-hmm. That, that is what, like I, that's that's a minor issue, but it's one of the things where I'm like, bro, why are we so dorky? <laughs> no, he's dorky, but he also calls himself a killing machine. What type of normal shit is that? Like, I thought we was normal citizens, and then they could go around saying he a killing machine. I mean, cons- no sense. considering you did wipe out like an entire like gang. It, yeah, Talk like, about like the normal expat. Like he's saying killing machine. Like that shit is normal. normal. <laughs> he wasn't this lying. This game is very much just like, even like, cause with all the Saints Row games. Side note, side like, note, before, before you finish, before you finish your thought. This part right here is exactly what I'm talking about with the random difficulty spike. Because one yeah. minute I'm annihilating him. I'm hanging from this plane where I can't protect myself and I almost died doing this. But continue. Yeah, th- this mission, like, I'm not going to lie. Some of the stuff they have you doing, the fact that you are very dependent on whoever is quote unquote pilot or the driver or whatever is very annoying because they be fucking up your aim and everything. It's like, I can't do anything about that. But. Yeah. Whenever it comes, to, I lost my train of thought. What was I talking about? Well, uh, we were talking about how derpy the the main character is. Oh, right. Like with the with the original Saints Row trilogy, whatever you want to say. Uh, yeah, the game was over the top. It was a little, it was a little derpy, but it was never this level. Like. They had their over the topness with like uh, Professor Genki, I think it was. <laughs> Genki, that was my dog. Yeah, like they had that stuff, and that shit was like derpy and cool, but it still was kind of like serious because like it's really just this psychopath who's just out here killing people for views. <laughs> this game, it's like there's like your characters like really never worry per se. Like it's very. Like nothing feels like it's serious so far to me in this game. Like on your first day on the job as a mercenary, you just show up and just take out a whole fucking gang by yourself pretty much. Like that that's how we started off this game. Not like how in Saints Row, you're really just trying to escape the prison. Like Saints Row 2 where you're just trying to escape the prison to get back, but your whole gang is already gone. You know, you gotta start over type shit. And it's not like you're starting from ground zero. Like in this one, it feels like you're already supposed to be this big bad person that just no one's heard about yet. It's weird. It's not even like you're really creating a name. It's really, it's like it's weird to me. 
it, it doesn't feel the same i mean that i mean the taking out the gang part is over the top just as like escaping prison and yeah. like you joining the gang in saints row one or you being a multi-billionaire in saints row three like yeah but it's, all of that is like building up on it but so like they're like from here they're starting from ground zero so i'll give them that it's just the character itself is just so strange to me that's it it's just so strange because <laughs> it's like like i said it's like a gen z millennial mashup of a game where it's like we don't put as many memes as many cringy things in here you feel me and call it a date i'm just all like what huh <laughs> also very quickly because once again, I was doing the side mission where you give the bad Yelp reviews. And one of the ones, for some reason, they just decided they didn't put this behind like, oh, you need to uh, do more missions to unlock this one. I saw some people with some guns that was like end of the game level guns. And I was like, why am I fighting them? Like a motherfucker, like I shot somebody and they turned into particles and disappeared. I was like, why am I here? <laughs> that is kind of cool. I was like, why am I here? I don't even know your story yet. I got fucked up in five seconds because of that shit. I had no clue what the fuck was going on. <laughs> you walked to the wrong house, fool. Bro, that shit was ridiculous. But that's that's more just because I wanted to do side missions putting on the hardest difficulty but still just the what am i doing here because i don't even know these characters like i haven't even met them the big so i know these niggas man bro i'm fighting niggas and i don't know why i'm fighting them i didn't even know we had beef as you get being so friendly i wasn't even being friendly i just didn't know i wasn't being unfriendly to people i didn't even know <laughs> scary Nick, but yeah all in all just don't buy this game people literally don't buy it do not buy this just, fucking game just wait just this should, i'm not gonna lie to you give this game of i'd say by february and that's me being generous in my opinion this shit will be on game pass literally wait for it be on game pass just don't buy this shit because it's, yeah, it's definitely going to be on game pass in a few months just wait Games of a letdown and it sucks. It it sucks because y'all could have done better. But so much better. on to better things at at the very least. Let's go ahead and, and talk about this motherfucking Outlast, though. Kenny, you, you you want you want to talk to the people about uh this this, this Outlast right here, my brother? Man, Outlast, my favorite scary franchise of the no business. You know I'm saying I play all of it, DLCs and all. Our last two was butt, but we ain't gonna talk about that though. Two was trash. It was confusing. Our last one, our last one in the DLC is the best horror game, horror game out, in my in my opinion, not even close. You're not too far off, to be honest with you. You're really not. This is a prequel. They said it's a prequel, just like when they start doing the trapping people. The testing. Stuff. Yeah. Ooh. It looked crazy. It looked more sadistic than I don't know how they made it more sadistic than the first one. But it, somehow it is. I'm ready for this, man. It's co-op. I hope it's not trash. I pray it's not trash. I need all. I need everybody on this right here, though. So we gotta all experience this. You know what I'm saying. Until I did get... they say how many players are supposed to be? Four. See the three or four. One of them. Okay. Well, here's the thing. I need one. I need one hundred. What is it? No, I need two hundred. No, I need two hundred and six. The eight subs oh, before yeah, I do it. Okay. Yeah, I need 268 subs before I even think about playing this. So if y'all want to see me do this, y'all got to sub up and stop bullshitting. I'm just saying. Enough of y'all watch my videos, not enough of y'all to sub. I'm saying, get your shit together. Um, you gotta, you gotta bring up them and, statistics, man. And the graphics look different. Like they, they made a graphical change. The character models is not the same as other games. That's cool though. It's Outlast. I got, I trust them niggas, man. I trust them. But I, close beta, I, I need that close beta. I already wish I wish listed 30 seconds after they announced it. God <laughs> damn, get it. Kenny is a fiend for some outlast. It's a great franchise. I'm not gonna lie, it is great. The second one was confusing as hell. 
like the second one confused the shit out of me. Like the first one, you're able to understand it. You're in a nut house mm -hmm. and they're running testing and whatnot on these people. The whistleblower DLC was incredibly fire. Like, whistleblower DLC was crazy. It's like from another perspective, that shit was, man. Yeah, like that was dope how they did that. The second one, it was just confusing. Like you're with this chick you're supposed to go like uh do a, a documentary or whatever on this cult but then they somehow impregnate this woman with the spawn of satan Damn, they put religion in the man that's what it is that's why it, but like the thing is the religion aspect of it was kind of cool though because then they talked about like that that was like that catholic church or whatever and, like the priest and that little girl mm -hmm. like that was that was cool because they were going they somewhere state they should have stayed they should have kept that high school shit out of them man. i'm gonna lie to you I didn't that, mind not it. Not high school, but the uh, elementary school shit. Or they should have put mm -hmm. it in the beginning of the game. That I could, yeah, yeah, I'll give you that one. They should, they should have set that precedent first instead of bringing it in like midway through. I, I'll give you that because I actually liked it because that part may be physically uncomfortable as hell, but it was still dope though because that's again a horror, you know, thing in of itself. But it adds like the overall horror tale in that game. It was just confusing on like how it just came out of nowhere because one minute you're walking down a corridor the next minute you're in a fucking high school hallway next to lockers or they or they could have did it where you like you 60 percent through the game and then you you finally putting the story together and then they do a flashback to really push it together you see what happened to the shorty he always talking about yeah and, the, and his, his friend that he all he, he he wanted since he was little yeah should did like that or something they could have the second one was lack like they they stayed close to the format i mean watch people panic over that girl with the scythe was great mm -hmm. that that was hilarious but like it's still it was different yeah it still kept like the same baseline in atlas gameplay it's just the thing about atlas the story in the second one was just terrible that was it yeah the was, villains is outlast can't be matched the villains man the special villains buddy with the with the matched. scissor hands in the first one insane oh my god then they had in the DLC, the DLC probably had the freakiest character in the horror game. Oh, the the husband, Eddie Hus Eddie Luskin, or what is his name? Bro, was. He was, man, he was wilding. All I know is in the first one, the nigga that calls himself Piggy. Fuck that nigga. Bro. Oh, he was calling you Pig. Yeah, that nigga's oh. gigantic. Yeah, now that that nigga. Whenever I would see, I ain't even play the game, but the videos of just knowing he's chasing you, that shit made my skin crawl. I'm not gonna I mean, lie. He's not even the scariest character because you can hear him coming. The scariest character to me was the dude. It's the ones uh, you can't hear coming. I'm the ghost. The oh no, the thing that uh, the made the thing that made him scary for me, like I said, is just the fact of he's like he's behind, like that feeling of someone chasing you, breathing down your neck. All you hear is the little pig. Yeah, that's all you hear. Bro, I'm not gonna lie. Just the feeling of knowing like he's right behind me. Dashy turn... <laughs> had the best walkthrough of that game. Bro. He said, no, he's gonna get me. He said, oh shit, he punched the shit out of me. <laughs> Dude, can I fight? Can I fight? <laughs> Imagine you turn around and swing on him. He's like, oh. Damn. I didn't know he was gonna fight back. He looks he looks at you. My alright. Damn. It just goes away like yeah, it just walks away like i'm not gonna lie out I, I you know i thought about it on the side note they're talking about piggy piggy i have mm -hmm. to re-download re-download that voice mod so that's something i want to do with that but i thought i'm pretty sure it messed up my computer so i gotta figure out how to fix that yeah i need to do the same thing because mine be glitching and don't always work i remember it kept changing my audio settings like yeah, yours was changing audio settings. Me recently, it keeps resetting itself, and I have to reset everything. Yeah, I don't, like I did was not liking that. And on top of you had to make it like your primary mic. I'm that shit was annoying, mm -hmm. but I'm not gonna lie, this looks dope. So Rambo, is Kenny gonna convince you to get on this Outlast, brother? I made Kenny get on bullshit. I am obligated to to get on that game. The questions asked, I don't really have any. Uh, I, res I respect <laughs> it. I, Rambo I pretty much it. said it. I'm already on that. I respect yeah, I it. I can't, I can't fight it on that. I make him play a bunch of bullshit. Hey, Rambo. I mean, I of bullshit. Rambo. You know, I respect I it. No, I respect it. I can't really. And can't. I think I and I think I agreed that I would play it whenever they first agree. brought it up. You did. So you I did. have no choice. I gotta be a man of my word. Play. 
since you did not play the other one that you were supposed to play. Yeah. What what other one was I supposed Five to play? Five Nights at Freddy's. But I don't think that was the same as the other one. So it I, don't know, I said that someone would have to pay for that. I said eighty. Yeah, yeah but I don't. It's not the same. It's not the same as the other. I didn't know. It wasn't the same as the other Five Nights at Freddy's, but I definitely said I, if someone donated 80, I'd play it. 80, I ain't gonna lie. 80, hey, that, that was my, that was my stipulations. That hey. was my stipulations. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. We might have got blessed, though, because I'd much rather watch Biggie play this than, that, than Five Nights at Freddy's, though. I'm not playing this until I get a thousand subs, so until that happens, it ain't happening, people. Let me go ahead and make how many accounts do you need to subscribe? Again? I wish you would make 268 <laughs> accounts. I really wish you would. I know that's right. Now, I can think of a bunch of dumbass emails. That's fact. Nah, I'm not, I wouldn't do that. That's, that's fucked up. <laughs> that's fucked up. I would not do that to we'll get him fake subscribers. No. Not fake. It's me. You call me fake. What you going to do? Watch all my videos a hundred times, nigga? Say- I said, like, you gonna give him 200 plus views on every video? Your silence says it all, nigga. <laughs> You're guilty. What happened? What happened? Miles might be being full of hell. Man. Probably more than likely. But let's go ahead and talk about. Uh, let's go ahead and just get this game out the way real quick. Sonic Frontiers. Oh, no. Matter of fact, I'm, nah, nah. I'm pausing the music. I'm pausing the music. I I got a serious question for y'all. This game is ass. <laughs> I got a serious question. <laughs> How many sales do you think this is about to do? Because you know when this game comes out, right? Oh, yeah. It comes out right, what, before God of War or right after? I think it comes out like a few days before, maybe. <gasps> when does God of War drop again? Let me look. Why, look does this, release date on why is there so much space in a Sonic game? Hey, bro? November 9th. Why am I sitting? Why am I seeing realistic trees like that? Like, why is he in the jungle? November Sonic 9th. Frontiers comes out. Yep, it comes out the day before. Sonic Frontiers comes out November 8th. So y'all want to know how many sales it's about to do? I got zero. I got zero. It's going to feel like zero when they see how many sales that I actually do. But, you know, we're going to say the hypothetical zero. Because it's not going to do zero. But they definitely not making their return on investment. No, you know, Sonic is gonna do um what was that what was that damn game that came out on Battleborn or whatever? Nah, it was a Sonic game that did trash. Like he was able to beat the game by running backwards. Sonic Boom? Y- yep. It's gonna do Sonic Boom levels. I'm not gonna lie, I might do worse than Sonic Boom because Sonic Boom was still uh, in a Sonic universe. This shit, like I told you when we first saw it, this shit looks like they put Sonic in a Final Fantasies map and just threw rails everywhere and said, fuck it. Even the enemies he's going against. Look at the enemies. Look at them. Look at the niggas. <laughs> there was a lot of Sonic enemies, yo. <laughs> Eggman don't even look to be. What the fuck is this man? You know, I'm not even buying this game. I am a Sonic fan, and I'm not buying this shit. You need a hug, Biggie. I'm, I don't know. I need a lot of things. I'm gonna send you one virtual hug because you, you you need it. You need it. What I need the most right now is for them to just just make Sonic Unleashed two. I don't give a damn how you have to do it, because technically he lost his werewolf powers. What the fuck was them punches? So- hmm. Sonic don't even really be throwing hands for real. Nigga, most of his strength comes from how fast he moves. Nigga, don't just be out here just punching metal and it break. You know what? Someone else go. Cause me watching this trailer just is gonna make me say more and more. Keep going. We 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 let Rambo get his shit off. Go ahead, brother. They had a I'm good idea. See, oh, I'm not buying this. I'm not buying it. <clears throat> My biggest problem with it is the idea of an open world Sonic game isn't a terrible <clears throat> idea. But the level of execution that they showed said, 
we just want to make a quick buck off of sign because this ain't even in the same realm of any other sonic game like if they would have made everything look more like like this level right here that they're showing the one before this because this that was actual like green hill zone but this shit right here this does not look like a sonic this looks nothing like a sonic like the closest they've gotten to a good looking like wherever it's not it doesn't feel like everything just rails everywhere just for the fuck of it was probably sonic adventures because sonic adventures i feel like everything felt like it was more or less in place it never felt like there was anything that was just there just to be there like all of this shit like i said final fantasy and just threw sonic in the middle of it and said yeah, he's kind of fast because he don't even be moving fast in this shit he just kind of fast And I, I, I promise you that ending's gonna be ass. Cause somehow you're just gonna have the Chaos Emeralds and he's gonna become supersonic and just punch a hole through everything. Supersonic. I'm done. Yeah. They, they had a great idea. It was a great concept. The execution was so fucking terrible that, and I don't know who decided when this game was gonna release. This should have released in the summer. I'm not gonna lie to you. If you was going to release some shit like this, they should have released during the summer when there was nothing else to play. You know what they did, high key, before you what? get your, sh your full shit off, though? Remember Titanfall 2 and how they set that game up mm -hmm. for failure by releasing between Call of Duty and Battlefield? Mm -hmm. Same shit, if not worse. Actually, worse, for real. I'm not going to lie. I'm a Sonic fan, but if you think... like, Because the thing that a lot of companies, whenever they are choosing a release, they need to remember is that some some people is just getting one game that month. And I'm not going to lie. If I had to choose between this, God of War, or when does Call of Duty drop? Uh, October something. Hold on. Okay, if that's October, then that's off the list. I, 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 thought, and... I thought about, about pre-ordering it the other day. That's why, just to get it out the way. Uh, yeah, if I had to pick between this or God of War because I was only getting one game that month, it's not even a it's not even a discussion I have to have with myself. Why would I pay for this? This is another one. It's gonna end up on Game Pass. Yeah, you get it one week early, October twentieth, if you did you order it or whatever. So yeah, October twentieth, basically. Yeah, you it's not even a discussion. This shit's gonna end up on Game Pass anyways. Sam. This and Saints Row are going to be on Game Pass together. This is going to be on Saint on Game Pass probably before January. Because I'm not going to lie, they is not going to do any numbers. And ain't nobody about to be looking for this game when God Award is dropping the next day and people are already going to have early gameplay ready. Cause you know niggas getting the game early. Oh yeah, we niggas in that situation. But yeah, <laughs> but this this shit. Mm -mm. If I had to rate this, uh, I'd rate it a fuck no out of ten. <laughs> I wouldn't pay five dollars for this game. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, why is why is Sonic throwing combos? The nigga is throwing hands and feet. He's not using speed. He's just like, that's speed. Moving so fast, creating shit like that. But just punching people? Last time I see Sonic try to punch somebody was Knuckles, and Knuckles fucked him up for that. I don't mind Sonic punching, but it doesn't look fast, though. Bro, but that's the whole thing. It doesn't look fast. It just looks like a regular punch. And his whole thing and how he gets most of the power that he generates is because of how fast he moves. And there's no speed. Like even when they remember when they showed gameplay, even at his fastest when they were using like the little boost, he still looked like he was moving moderately fast. It just kinda. <laughs> he was moving a little fast. 
I mean, I'm not. I'm probably gonna go back and play Sonic Unleashed when this drops because I I just rather not. <laughs> gonna be all right, Biggie. I'll be all right. God of War drops the next day. Are you buying that one or am I buying that one? Uh, I'm probably gonna get that one because let's see. Because you got 2K, I'm mm-hmm. getting COD. Yeah, I'll probably get God of War. All right, so then I just gotta get the next one. Yeah. Well, chat. People, ain't nobody buying this. That's all. That's all I gotta say. Ain't nobody else in 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 the in the group got anything to say about this game. I'm not gonna that, lie. Damn the group. Uh, I'll be honest. How many people do you think is actually in general gonna buy that game besides just some weirdos? Period. I'm sorry. That was that was very toxic. Not weirdos. Just Period people who are shit. very big Sonic fans. Hey, man. You get the offline version. Hey. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, that's crazy. <laughs> He said, I'm going to get it. I'm not paying for it. He said, I'm getting offline version. But all right. <laughs> On to other news. Uh, Dead Island 2. I was never the biggest fan of Dead Island. It always felt weird to me when I did play when I was younger, whenever this game came out. I, I was not a fan of Dead Island. Uh, Left 4 Dead was my go-to zombie game. Anybody here got experience playing Dead Island? Uh, whenever I think it was Dead Island Riptide came out on Games for Gold when they first started doing that shit, uh, I remember playing that one. Okay, and that one was kind of cool. I never beat that one, but I just remember playing it with friends and it was cool. I'm not gonna lie, gameplay wise, this actually looks all right. Over the top, gory zombie killing yeah. was kind of dope. Uh, it's very it. There's a lot of blood in those games. Like that. Like, if you remember, you can go look up the uh, box art for Dead Island Riptide. It bl- everywhere. Like I don't know, I just wasn't the biggest fan of it, but I remember people were asking for this game for like a while. Yeah, like, it's not a bad game. like, like people been wanting another Dead Island, and it sounds like y'all wishes have been granted. Cause, hey, fuck it, we ball is here. I, I was never the biggest fan of it like ever so i'm not gonna sit here and be like oh my gosh this is the best game ever it does it does have my interest somewhat somewhat uh i think the biggest thing about it that dude dug out i think the thing that really turned me <laughs> off about dead island though was like i've always felt like it didn't have a sense of direction when i played it specifically when i played it i didn't understand like the story mm-hmm. at all so that was just my personal gripe with it uh rambo you said you have experience with dead island yeah hold on Oh, nephew, nephew, full of hell. Heard you, heard you. Uh, Kenny, Kenny. So, Dead Island Two. What you thinking? Nah, this look fire. I ain't gonna lie. It look way better than Riptide. Damn. So is Riptide, Riptide trash? Was oh. Riptide was super, but Dead Island One right. was fire though. I love, I, I, I love Dead Island One. So I know Riptide was on uh, Games for Gold for a reason. I ain't gonna but... lie. This game look as goofy as Saints Row supposed to be. This how Saints Row supposed to look. This, yeah, I'm not gonna. This looks like a mixture between Saints Row and um, Dying Light. Dying Light lit. Dying yeah, it's Light like lit. a mixture between those two because it has like the graphics and like even some of like the animations look kind of like Dying Light, but it's like over the top like Saints Row. Like in one yeah. of like the little clips they show, he literally punches punches just his hand a hole in a zombie's face. And yeah, the I'm graphics not. look good. As hell. Yeah. I think this game will be good. It, yeah, it's, like, it, it's, like it's not nice. it's not something that like obviously it's not like a main game you play. Like this ain't some oh I play it every day. It's, it's just something that co-op. you play with the homies. I don't know, it has to be co op. Better be four players. Ain't no way they made this single player. The story right. looked funny, look goofy, look like they got some 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 character, some personality in the game. It, this game is they, a co-op. Look, 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 what they, look where he at, though. Like, look at all the places he's going and all the different ways he's killing people. Well, yeah, he's in Cali. But yeah, I really hope they didn't make this game single player because the fun that I had in Dead Island was that I could play it with friends. I'm not going to when, when, when At the end of the trailer, you will see he waves to other people killing when he walks out of his house. I'm not going to oh, I think it's I think it's the CGI trailer at the beginning of the, yeah. this, this video. He I'm walks not, out and he sees two other people killing. That's why I think it'll be co-op. February 3rd, by the way. But I mean, I'd be down yeah. to do a four-player like little walkthrough joint of this. That'd be fun. That would be kind of fun. Yeah. I was going say, this game don't look bad. I would play this. Like, I got limited experience with it, but I'm open to it. I mean, after how much fun we had playing fucking TMNT. Oh, yeah. Like, and fucking almost a Titanfall. R.I.P. 
um like left for dead like you can't go wrong not at all so personally i'm not gonna say i'm that this that was insane i'm not saying i'm looking forward to it but i'll keep my eye on it like i said i don't have experience with this game at all but i mean i'm kind of happy that's coming out now only because i'm pretty sure we all remember dog the the zombie market got oversaturated at one point mm -hmm. every game was a zombie game every game had zombies like bro i'm kind of glad that they just said i'm kind of glad they took a break and just said nah 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 we gonna wait <laughs> we gonna wait we gonna let the zombie the zombie hype die down for a little bit then we're gonna come out with it because it was zombies and it was vampires and it was survival then it was like fps's it was like the whole shebang and just like dog let's get some different shit on in here like i want a werewolf game personally like a really good werewolf game um but that's just me but personally punching a hole in the zombie face i need to do that off top oh yeah wait right. hold up what you looking at i just seen something i wanted to i'm gonna clarify before I say anything, I want to see, make sure. Uh, okay, so this game has actually been in development since, at least since 2014. Yeah, Riptide was butt, that's why. <laughs> yeah, because I see a trailer from PlayStation Australia. This shit came out June 9th of 2014. Damn. Yeah, shit, so wait. They had, to, they had to restart all the way over, probably. Let's say, somebody tell me, why was Riptide so trash? I don't know. It was mad glitchy. It was nothing like the first game. And it was just bad. Overall bad. Look at the reviews. I'll look it up right now. Hold on. Let's say, I want to know why Riptide was so bad. Because I hear people slander that game all the damn time. Yeah. Like, like I said, I didn't play the first one. I just played Riptide because it was on Games for Gold. I understood it was on there for a reason, but because I was playing with friends, I had a good time. I mean, that usually can save a game. Like, if you have friends playing, that can usually save it. But yeah, and I do want to make sure, because I need to know if this game is going to be multiplayer. I'm going to fight this nigga Biggie still, though. Why? Vision, nigga. You thought I let that shit go? <laughs> Okay, so it is supposed to have co-op multiplayer for up to eight players. That's what it was back in 2014. Okay. But I wouldn't hold my breath on that one just for the fact of it's been in development since then, at least. And we don't know why the, like, I don't know what problems they ran into to, to the point where it had to be delayed until now. So I don't know what they might have had to take out the game. There is, but they're a, supposed to. There, it's supposed to have co-op multiplayer. I just need four players at least, just four, at the very it's least. Supposed to be up to eight. Up to eight is kind of crazy. That means like you'd have to spawn an infinite amount of zombies for real, because damn. Yeah, and yeah. the way the and the way the graphics looking, I'm not gonna lie, they probably cut that bitch down to three or four. Cause them graphics look immaculate and having eight people running around on that shit. I don't, I don't know. These consoles yeah. is definitely getting better, but shit. Dial of Riptide was just a little port of Dial in one, except it was buggy and glitchy. They made no improvements, no graphical improvements, none of that. It was and it's still buggy and glitchier than ever. Crazy. Also, this scene right here is crazy. That man really got his the whole top of his head just Michael Jordan. <laughs> they blur that out. They, they blur that out. They blur that out doing games guns. <laughs> that was crazy. Oh yeah. Michael, Michael Jordan. Jordan. And then just his body was like, yeah, we're gonna take one more pool real quick. <laughs> that drop kick straight out of Dying Light. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Some of this like gameplay wise, matter of fact, is this does this studio work on Dying Light as well? He said Michael Jordan. You know a movie like really terrified me? Well it was that movie. it was I forgot what movie it was, but I'll never forget this scene. This girl was in the bathroom or whatever. Like she just got out like the shower and she's standing in front of the mirror and then her fucking reflection literally takes her hand, put them in her mouth and pulls her face apart. Mm. That's what that reminded me of. Hold on, I gotta find that movie. Like you wanna talk about horror movies, dog? Whatever that movie was, that man. Hold up. Oh, Deep Silver worked on some of the Saints Row games as well. They worked on this one. 
Fletch. So you telling me Deep Silver was there helping Volition or whatever with Saint with this new Saints Row, and I'm guessing Volition just wasn't listening. There was like, fuck it, we just gonna do it for our game. Was it Look Away? I think it might have been Look Away. It was it was some movie or was it from within. All I know, chat, it was a movie and like this girl like literally was sit she was like literally sitting like in a bath, got up, took her mouth like this, and then pulled her shit off. It it freaked me out. It literally freaked me out. Hold up. And then there was a there was another uh horror film or whatever where like how you died in the game, that's how you died in real life. I, hold on, I, I gotta find it, dog. Cause I, I've seen some weird ass movies that, I'm like, not lie. that I should have seen. Bag is something crazy. I didn't know they worked on this many games. <clears throat> they had a hand in Persona. They had a hand in all the Saints Row games. They had a hand in Agents of Mayhem. And that one's not really a good one to be known for. It was called um, Stay Alive, by the way. I found it. Ah. Oh, the game Stay Alive? Or a movie? It was a movie. Ah. And however you died in the game is how you died in real life. Oh, what man. are we talking about? Uh, he was talking about some movies. I'm talking about horror that. movies or whatever because I was trying to find it. Yeah, that's definitely... A, I forgot what it was called. Though. Stay Alive. It scared the shit out of me. Yeah, I ain't never watched it. I did. I thought it was a cool concept. I thought it was a cool concept. And oh. then we're also talking about Dead Island 2, and I realized that this game has been in development since at least 2014. Uh, I don't know why I got put on the back burner looking at some of these games that they were also working on because uh, until like Agents of Mayhem, because apparently they also worked on Get Out of Hell. No, you know what? It was probably Persona that made them put it on the back because yeah, they were yeah, they helped work on Persona 5, and that came out in 2016. Why are you doing that, man? I was also trying to figure out what made exactly that, that was five years ago. I was also trying to figure out what exactly made Rip Tide trash, and Kenny explained it to me, and that is actually hilarious. But Ramble, you have experience with Dead Island, right? So, what is the allure of this game exactly? How do I explain this? What's that other zombie killing game? Left for Dead or no? Yeah. Dead uh, Rising. Dead, dead Rising. Rising. That. That's that's what it is. Oh, that right there. It's not specifically that game, but the thrill, the the, the feeling you get playing that is is this. That that is the same thing. It's honestly those games. To be honest, are the complete same. If we're being one hundred percent honest, they're the complete same. I think Dead Rising has a little bit more customization as far as the weapons but yeah it's pretty much the same thing it's cool though i'm i'm rock, i'm buying that day day one in la oh man oh no i'm there i'm there i'm gonna so go find look cool. i'm gonna go find zombie brawn <laughs> that's crazy imagine that it actually is an easter egg and they paid him to be the kid that got zombie lebron hey no, i'm not gonna lie to you i do that i, I do that bitch Got zombie LeBron in there, and that nigga would just hit you with a coast to coast. Get <laughs> um, your ass down. That'd be terrifying. Oh, chase down artists. That should be hard. I ain't gonna lie. But I I assume actually after looking at it, probably because of Persona Five, and since they did have a hand in that, it's why the game got delayed. And then they just had other games afterwards that came out. Like um, they worked on Chorus. They worked on Agents of Mayhem. Like I said, that one's not really that big of a deal. Um, and Metro Exodus, as well as they were helping with the new Saints Row as well. Yeah, they need to keep working it. I'm just happy I found the, the fucking movie. I'm not going to lie. That kind of satisfied me for the day. Mm-hmm. Also, remember, I have a feeling they didn't have a big hand in it, They, but they, I think they did help. And from the look of this game, they probably helped on the graphical side, if anything. 
We need so much help. This game. Is yeah, crazy. that the gameplay wise, I feel like that's all volition. But looking at this game and then looking at the graphics on the new Saints Row, yeah, they probably help with like ray tracing and everything. I would have preferred it not even have ray tracing and this shit just work. And we all would have preferred if it just worked properly. To this day, they're still having a hard time accepting the fact that we'll take gameplay over graphics. Yeah, like, like, I still want some good graphics, but if it comes at the cost of your gameplay being ass, go ahead, turn them bitches down a little bit. Damn that, I'll take yeah. gra- I'll take gameplay over graphics any day because I could still go back and play games which are not graphically intensive at all, like PlayStation I, no, 2 and I just so on. mean, like, I don't, like, I'm not expecting to get a game that I bought for a PS5 to look like it came out on the Xbox 360. I'd be pissed if I bought a game and it looked like that. But if a game just isn't, like, there's no ray tracing and it's just running at like pretty much 1080 you know the 4k is upscale i don't care wait 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 you said you don't want it to look like a, a like an xbox 360 game yeah like like if i if i got on the game and that bitch is on the ps5 and that bitch runs at 720 30 fps i'd be pissed and oh. i'm i'm not talking about like when they had composite cables or when the xbox 360 finally got the hdmi i'm talking about the original av cables and hey, listen man and hey, listen man Kenny, you too. Both you hoes play Minecraft. Y'all be all right. Yeah, but you realize how old Minecraft is? It's not like I expected. I say, first (laughs) off, I play Minecraft with shaders mods (laughs) in the high graphical settings. I don't play running up that hallway. I actually wanted to play Minecraft recently. I actually got in the mood for it. Let's see. Kenny got in the I play Minecraft with shaders mod because as much as I love that game, if I can make it look better, I, if I can make the game look sexy, I'm going to make the game look sexy. If I can make it look sexy, I'm going to make it look there. sexy. The gameplay's <laughs> already there. Now, if games start letting you add, like, graphical mods to them on, like, console, all right, cool. Just work, focus on the gameplay. I'll let a modder fix y'all graphics. <laughs> but that's that's not going to happen for console because Xbox and PlayStation ain't about... Eh... But I feel like that's because their modding community is so huge and actually makes the game so much better. Like, they fix stuff that the developers apparently just refuse to fix. Remember Cease and Desist, Street Fighter. Yeah, like, like for them, especially because I'm pretty sure, because they already were probably planning on buying <laughs> uh, them at the time, uh adding the mods and stuff it was really cool for that but their modding community is so big it's like it would do nothing but benefit you it's not like anything bad is gonna happen from that sure then they had that dumbass subscription you know we're gonna talk about that but it's like the same thing with like how they're doing minecraft like now you can add mods to the windows 10 version because it's like that modding community is so huge versus a game like this well the game like uh dead island their modding community wouldn't be that big. There's no, there's Gosh. no gain for them doing that. I don't feel like talking about this. All right. Well, I'm gonna look up the the. I almost said the PS Go. Wow, my English. <laughs> PS <game>. Go. <laughs> bro, 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 bro. My English gave um, up on. I want to look up PS Go now and see what comes up. Uh, let me go. Bro, I'm telling you, fam, it, my my words gave up on me. Wait, there was a PSP Go. Yeah, there was a PSP Go. It was it was a smaller version, and I, I think it was touch screen. Yeah, it didn't sell that many. It was like a really expensive. Oh, so yeah, I just remember my brother had the original PSP. Also, my brother texted me just as a quick side note. Uh, he found my original, like the original Xbox, and he's gotten really into like restoring old consoles. Uh flew over my head when he first said something about it that he was restoring it for me that flew over my fucking head until he was like yeah if you want there to be the mod on it to where it has all the xbox games on it just let me know you're just gonna have to pay for it and then i was like oh you meant this was for me i'm gonna slap shut this nigga biggie yo anyways your ps plus games for august um will be tony house pro skater one and two yakuza like a dragon and little nightmares uh fire bangers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. For me, it's Tony Hawk all day, every day. <laughs> I'm 50 Tyson on him, though. 
<laughs> I'm 50 Tyson. He said, I'm 17. No, I mean, I was 16 last year. Bro. Free me. Free me. <laughs> hey, your games with gold will be Calico, Source Bringer, Saints Row 2. Like, literally, if you did not download, do not download that game, you. That's pretty good. You ass. Um, and oh, Monaco. I think I it. Is it over? Yeah, I think it's over. It's August. Yep, it's over. Oh, it's August tough. 15th. If I last time I checked, you can buy for like two bucks on the on the Xbox store though. I actually ended up buying like Saints Row 2 and Saints Row 1 for like five bucks in total. Last time that I checked, where the Nipsey. Um But yeah, and like I said earlier, folks, go ahead, download, cop that Destiny 2, because all the DLC is free until like September 1st. Get it together. Dog, I feel I felt so bad when that shit got announced. Uh <laughs> But yeah, get get it together, y'all. Cause I mean, we can't keep telling y'all about this shit than hearing about how people ain't downloading these free ass games or or how you ain't taking advantage of these deals when these games drop. I don't... There's no good games out right mm. now. That just means you don't play games. If I hear that at this point. Um, <clears throat> but that's all I got on my damn show notes for real. Um, I want to give me some some water and also upload this and also play some damn Destiny. So, uh, y'all boys got anything? Oh, oh man, hey. 2k 2k i'll see you in a week from today let your shit come out and it be ass oh y'all think i gave y'all think i gave saints row shit alexa shut up <laughs> you think i gave saints row some shit oh man oh man wait till i get in y'all ass no pause no lube no, no last lube thing. I'm all in this shit. Crazy oh, part, really? is, crazy all part shit? is. Oh man, I'm I'm finna be in there twisting and turning, bro. Crazy it's part finna... is everything said about Saints Row is nothing but facts, though. Like that's the difference. Like, and and Saints Row, it was it was more so of like a disappointed parent for real. Like y'all know better. Like I say, like y'all know better. With two K, y'all definitely know better at this point. It ain't even disappointment. It's just I'm pissed off. Yeah. Just, don't listen yeah like yeah mm, hi because i'm not gonna lie dude it'll, it'll be a, a 2k ether episode real quick if this 2k's ass I'm not gonna lie biggie I'm buying the next one on Apex. Yeah, it might be over for me in 2k i ain't gonna lie if it's ass it might be over for me in 2k's relationship i want to say b you know you're buying the next one i don't want to hear it no i ain't mm. lying <laughs> I would say, Woo, I'm going to be honest with you. As much as I'm addicted to that game, ever since I put that game down, I've at least been trying to make an effort to make content in some type of way. And recently, I've been doing pretty good, and I'm worried for myself when that game comes out of it being good and me slowing down on content, which I don't want. Which can be avoided if you would just stream or record, Jack. At, you know what I I don't want to upload 2K. I don't want to be a 2K YouTuber. Sorry for you actually being having a game that you're extremely good at. Know a lot about. My bad. Who chose that? Not me. <laughs> I just don't want to be a 2K YouTuber, man. That, well, have to that's be. just ass. You could be you could be part time YouTube streamer like Gento. And on top of that, if we're being, if we're, we're going, hey, yo, we got guys, we, we, we got yeah, 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 he's yeah, bugging yeah. out right now, yeah. bro. Go ahead, out? go ahead, get the outro, man. I'm sorry, Woo. We gotta wow. cut that short. Wow. Man, fuck you, Rambo. I'm gone, y'all. <laughs> oh my god, bro. End of the podcast. At all. Yo, just for that, Rambo gotta play Sonic. We out, man. <laughs> hey, Kenny. Hey, Kenny. nah, nah. On that note, y'all, make I'm sure y'all rate like this joint like five this stars too. on all audio platforms, Spotify, yes. Apple Podcasts, Amazon Podcasts. Uh, make sure you watch it. If you're watching the video version of the thing, make sure to leave a like, a rate. I won't say rate. Leave a like, comment. All the other good stuff. We love y'all. We're going to holler at y'all on the next one. I, ooh, these niggas here, boy.